the idea of these spaces which i conduct in which uh, i share a journey of a, a different kind of a trader every time i try to take a trader from a new background a different background the idea is that rather than going to a, a, to an expert or an experienced trader if you can identify with a trader how he started his journey what are the roadblocks he faced how he overcame those roadblocks and uh, what are the things that he did what are the things he realizes in hindsight that he should not have do, uh, done so these are the real life experiences and nuggets of wisdom probably will help you more rather than reading somebody's uh, success story or theory too much that also has a place definitely but uh, that that's the idea that life story also teaches us a lo- lot of things so i want to welcome soham many of you know him already he is a pretty pretty known figure very active on twitter and uh, like many of you he is working with a prominent software company he has spent considerable uh, number of years in us and uh, now in india and an algo trader he has uh, some experience with handling public money as well so we'll talk about all that a very very warm welcome to soham and uh, you can start with your uh, trading journey i suggest you start with uh, you know as back in life as possible probably class 10th or 12th or maybe kg and then from there how you started trading or how the kid of trading came to your mind for the very first time so yeah please go so hum yeah thank you anand thanks for inviting me yeah let, let me start from kg right so uh anand so i had a very humble uh, childhood right so i come from a very uh, middle class family my dad had a government job and i was the only child of my parent i studied in a government school till 12 i was the only child of my parent i studied in a government school my dad used to work for indian railways right and after 12th i did my engineering and uh, so i'm pretty old guy i'm 40 right now so i finished my engineering in 2004 and i still remember my first salary used to be around 18000 right after all the tax deduction and everything and i used to think what i will do with this money i mean at that point in time 18000 for me was a lot of money and at that point in time uh, i never knew about stock market i did not knew that there is anything called stock market that exists my first thing with stock market was uh, so uh, let me disclose my company so that you know uh, it it will bring some context to this discussion so i used to work for uh, my first company was mahindra british telecom right so it was a mahindra entity it was a private entity at that point in time then they changed their name to tech mahindra before they went public so at that point right when when uh, tech mahindra was going public i opened my first icici demat account and i borrowed some money actually i took a personal loan and i bought some because at that point in time i used to spend all the money that I used to get a salary so i took a personal loan from icici and bought some uh, shares through esop and after a couple of years i still remember i invested around 30000 rupees and uh, employee used to get the stocks at a certain discount and after a couple of years i sold them and I, i think it already doubled or something but then that was it after that i never did anything in the stock market i was busy with my job i was busy with my career and from 2010 to 2017 i was in us before that while i was in india i did not do anything on the stock market side in us i used to buy some shares you know based on uh, some news stories or some friend will recommend me hey buy this buy that right so uh, i i used to invest very small amount of money right i remember like i bought some apple shares or microsoft only blue chips like twitter and uh, i also bought some 1 dollar share because you know uh, if you the, if the stock price is only 1 dollar then you can buy lot of shares right with the hope that some day it will become 100 and you will make a lot of money but those are the amateur mistakes that uh, all of us must have done at one point in time and uh, then i also got around 2017 so i bought uh, i i invested some money in cryptos as well and recently i sold them during the last time when bitcoin touched 60000 so i 
sold all my crypto holdings i made around uh, 60 to 70% but that's over a period of 4 years and uh, while coming back from us uh, because i did not bring all my money from us all together what i did i invested in so around around 100000 dollar i invested in uh, fidelity uh, kind it was kind of a mutual fund right so i invested and i hold it on to it for close to uh, one and a half year that also because the market was only rising at that point in time that also gave me significant profit and uh, the other ma- major profit that i made uh, was from from uh, from my house right so i bought a house back in us i made a very good amount of profit from that house actually and for i invested that money for only one and a half years but then from then for some visa related issue i had to come back to india so i had to sell my house but so that was my biggest profit actually i mean from investment if you ask me till date that has been my biggest profit so far now uh, i mean uh, before i go ahead so i am still audible right yeah yeah perfectly like very sweet voice thank you <laughs> okay now then after i moved back to india i realized that uh, i have to do something in the stock market so first thing i did i opened a zero the account and i remember i also invested uh, at that point in time uh, right now i think for pms you need 50 lakhs but back in 2017 as per sevi regulation you only needed 25 lakhs right i mean the minimum was 25 lakhs to invest in a pms so i invested in a pms as well but you know i was missing action so because pms i mean i did not lose much money and neither i made a lot of money right it was during the 2018 period when the market was pretty flat so but i wanted to then i realized you know this is not happening because i always used to look in log into zeroda and watch every day whether you know overall my portfolio is going by 0.5% or 1% up or 1% down and i was like i need to do it by myself right and then i suddenly one day i decided no no i will take out all the money from the pms and then in the meanwhile i joined twitter as well i was following some handles uh, you know all those handles who flies rockets every day they meet their 100% target 200% target so i got lured to one such guy i just got a notification that host is having some connection issue am i still audible please give me a thumbs up okay so anand you still there yeah i'm there so i have a couple of questions before uh, we go ahead i mean uh, in, in normally in my spaces we don't uh, take any names but we would like to uh, give uh, uh, the audience exact idea about what we are talking about so my first question is what prompted you to invest in pms straight away and not in mutual fund like why you thought that pms is a better idea and like was it a it was this particular pms without taking a name was it a very popular one which is well advertised on twitter or how did you reach that okay out of 200 500 pms's which are there popular with sebi Uh, at sebi's website this is the one i'm going to take some friend advised you or like how you went and now that in hindsight if anybody is having that kind of money so do you advise going to a pms route or should he stick to mutual funds or how he should manage his money if he is not very active in the stock market okay yeah that's a very good question so what happened right after moving back to india i quit my job just one day i realized uh, that i don't want to do the job because i was not liking the indian culture uh, culture as in like the work culture right uh, and the politics that goes uh, mostly in all the indian offices so i just one morning i told my wife you know uh, i want to quit my job i don't want to do this job i want to do something on my own and i was living in hyderabad at that point in time and what i was doing after moving back to india i was going to lot of startup events so in hyderabad is is a city where you see lot of startup events going in triple it hyderabad or uh, you know uh, other places 
right so i met a guy with whom i actually also worked on startup right as a co-founder for 7 8 months that guy was very bright and brilliant and at the same time i, I used to have a lot of discussions with him uh, around everything actually and i was telling him one day that you know uh, i have some money i want to invest so what's the best idea and this guy was a very bright guy he was from iit kanpur and then he did his uh, mba from i am uh, bangalore so he referred me one guy so this guy was uh, his iit kanpur uh, senior so they started one pms and they were doing pretty good and these guys were pretty transparent so nothing against the pms uh nothing against uh, if anybody wants to invest in pms i think pms is a good route if you want to invest but only thing that used to bother me right i mean different pms has different rules around how they charge you but irrespective of whether they are doing they will charge you operational fee right and if they do well on top of that they will charge a performance fee as well so i was okay with the performance fee but i was not okay with the yearly maintenance fee i was like you know even if your pms is not performing and my money is not compounding then why i should be paying you any fee so what I was the fees cost- exactly for, 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 on the corpus uh, i don't remember exactly it was not but a like huge back amount. of the envelope like uh, fixed amount or percentage it was a percentage it was a percentage of your total portfolio size i don't remember exactly at all because i was with this pms only for 6 months so i did not even pay one year of you know this operational fee to them but that 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 thing used to bother me right so i took out that money and, and how, how much return you got uh, in 6 months it was more like i invested 25 lakhs and i think when i got out it was 24 point something so it was not oh profit God. not loss so maybe you know a paltry loss of a uh, few thousand bucks and uh, uh, which year it was it was in 2018 early 2018 2018 market was not so bad pms is normally do buy and buy only right they don't do short sell but they do short, no, short no. sell pms is mostly buy and hold and at times uh, they do those rotations right sometimes they move out so there will be some transaction cost as well i mean uh, so uh, how how does it operate like they will have uh, demat account in your name and they will have the operating rights or they, they have a pool have the account rights yeah so basically i'll so, give them the money i will sign a contract with them okay and uh, stocks will be in my account but there will be a dashboard they will give you login to a dashboard at right, where you can see the performance and other metrics on a day to day so you can see how, what what all stocks they are carrying and how they when they are selling when they are buying right you can yes, see that yes 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 absolutely absolutely and they okay. don't invest right when i when i gave them 25 lakh they did not invest the entire sum on day one they invested over a period of time in chunks so now that you are at also a, an accomplished trader and when you look back those pms guys they were doing something sophisticated or they were like just one of us with larger capital and some sophistication no no these guys are very transparent i still see they no, their method i mean i i i appreciate the trans- transparency but the method that they were deploying and the way they were going about it there was some method to it yeah yeah acha laga chalo auto acha laga to auto buy kar liya jaise ek retail wala sochta hai chalo abhi banks super jayega to banks buy kar liya like was there a method to it they were giving they some newsletter they, or something so, okay so yeah they had a they had a method right the guy explained me one of the owner of this pms he explained me the process as well so they firstly identify sector and in those sectors they identify the market leaders and then they go through all their you know reports quarterly reports and other things and based on that they decide okay which stock to invest how much percentage to uh, invest and what should be my target right when is the time if the stock does not perform over a period of time when is the time i should take an exit so they all plan, plan all those things they pre plan all those things so when 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 you took out the money did they didn't they say that you know hold it for another 6 months or one year or two year we we are going to perform it this is just going to be performance is going to be around the counter or, or some kind of sales pitch no 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 
nothing nothing i mean the operational guy had couple of discussions with me he tried to convince me to stay on board for a few more months but it was a very normal it was not like uh, you know those pesky calls that we get you know continue continue sir we'll give you this discount that discount no it was not nothing of that sort we just had couple of discussions but they were not able to convince me i took my money out that's all okay so once you took out the money and this i mean if you can like total we we disclose uh, more than what we normally disclose in real life so if you can disclose us like this 25 lakhs was what percentage of your net worth like was it a big chunk of money for you at that point of time or it was like small change uh in percentage terms no it was like uh I mean, when you say net worth, you mean the cash net worth, or you mean total existence on the earth? Uh, it will be twenty-five lakhs. Will be like uh, one twentieth of my total net worth, maybe. Okay, okay. So you took out the complete this thing, and then you thought you you are going to do it on your own. Yeah, but you know, it was not like I took out the money and started trading on my own. Then I. <laughs> then i you know uh, then i started paying one of those tip stars right and i lost more money <laughs> you you subscribe to some, some telegram or tip service yeah some whatsapp service uh, on what, like how how did you land up there like somebody recommended or just you saw no, that no, you know profile was, I was is cool no i joined twitter by that time and i was following this guy every day he used to post those whatsapp screenshot you know target achieved target achieved you know Flying rockets, everything. I got just lured to this guy. I mean, we fall, we all fall prey to this to our greed, right? So exact same thing happened with me. So this guy used to charge twelve thousand every month, and twelve thousand rupees. Okay, twelve thousand every okay. month, right? And every okay. day he used to provide trades mostly on futures and index and stocks as well. But the problem that I had. i started noticing this problem for example he is saying buy srf today right and let's say he is giving a price i don't even know at what price srf is trading right now so let's say he is just giving a random price of you know take a buy call buy entry at 100 so now let's say he is sending that message as let's say 945 in the morning right and i will see that price is already 105 and then i will see okay maybe he has sent the message little late so let me see what was the price one minute back or two minute back i will see the even up two minutes back the price was never 100 it was already 103 and 104 so i started asking this guy right why are you saying take an entry at 100 because by the time i am getting a message i don't see 100 i mean even today's close was higher than 100 and it never dipped to 100 he was saying no maybe you are not getting that take i was like okay maybe he's right i don't know how to read candle charts and all but i carried on with this guy even though i had my doubts every while <laughs> every uh, once in a while but i still continued with this guy and then i mean over a period of time <laughs> i lost a lot of money right i mean like how many months you continued uh, around 3 months i would say 3 months and how much money you lost lost Ah, uh, to be exact, Anand, I lost six lakhs ninety-two thousand. So, so around around seven lakh rupees you lost on tip service. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, and there is a learning in there. I'm, 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 I mean, you can laugh at your, but I'm not laughing. I mean, it, it happens to best of us. It can happen to uh, all of us. But see, yeah. there are two things, two takeaways, right? Seven lakhs at that point in time for me it was not a huge chunk right it was not my like entire sum of money right so in percentage terms it was a small amount but still 7 lakhs is 7 lakhs right anybody even if you have 100 crores 7 lakhs is still a significant amount so i lost that money but it was a learning after that also you know it, it i should have stopped there but after that also i took service from another guy who is very popular hold, hold, hold it for a second so what uh, in this twitter universe or telegram universe or whatsapp universe is like millions of guys are there so what prompted you to uh, you know uh, decide to lose 7 lakhs to this guy did somebody recommend you or you just found it fancy rockets like what was the prompt i just got lured to join this guy i just fall prey to my own greed that's all no but okay. nobody recommended okay. me because at that point in time i just joined twitter I did not know who to follow. I did not know how to identify who is genuine, who is fake, 
I mean, I did not know. I mean, everybody I saw that okay, anybody who has like five thousand followers or more, I was like, I was to consider them. This guy knows everything. He is God kind of guy, right? Okay. So then, after that episode, you decided to. Then I else. got little smart. Uh, not, but at that point in time, what I did, right? I started doing my own study. I started reading Zerudha Varsity and everything. and i started from what is stock market the first chapter in zerudha varsity is what is stock market so i started with that i went on to finish the entire zerudha varsity i i had no idea what is option nothing i had no idea right i knew about futures because that guy used to recommend me buy future so by the time i would add up the ticker like let's say he is asking to buy mrf or Tata Motors. So I have to add that ticker. I have to find this month contract. By the time I will do all those things, price will already be <laughs> up by ten rupees. So it will go down by five rupees, and then I'll be sending WhatsApp message to him. Hey, the you recommended to take an entry at hundred, but the now now the price is hundred and two or ninety eight. What should I do? Shall I wait or shall I still take an entry? And this guy will never respond. And even if he responds, by that time I'll. We again fall prey to my greed and say it's hundred and see maybe it will go to hundred and thirty. So let's take an entry at hundred and two as well. I knew nothing about risk reward, nothing, right? And uh, this guy uh, used to advise you on your position sizing as well, or you used to just take one contract. If it is a twenty lakh contract or two lakh contract, just you used to take one contract. Typically, these tips that don't advise you on the position sizing, right? They will just send you a ticker name, a entry price, a target, and an. stop loss that's all so so how did you decide your position size i just used to buy random i just okay. used to buy randomly right? i never i mean i never put any thought process to it like if i have 25 lakhs you know i should be buying five lot of futures for each of the each of the tips that he is providing so there was no thought process to it sometimes i will buy one sometimes i will buy three I see. He will send me those tips, and on top of that, I will apply my gut feeling, <laughs> right? So that was it. That's all. And uh, these are all, these were all intraday tips or like positional as well. दोनों देता था intraday भी as and positional both. और positional भी गलत ही जाता था. सब गलत जाता था सर. And ये जो इसमें Like seven lakhs, me. What was the breakup? Like you lost big money on one or two trades, or you were like slowly but in a very boring, uniform way, you were losing money all three months. Because why I'm asking is because a lot, lot of people who might be stuck to it in ten days, twenty days, they might be able to see a pattern and they might want to exit early rather than wait for three months. No, one time, what happened? I remember. Uh, so mostly, let's say he's giving ten tips. दो ट्रेड चल जाता था राइट इट विल मेक सम प्रॉफिट आठ गंदा जाता था तो दे वाज ऑलवेज दिस होप कि अरे आगे बात चलेगा शायद अभी दो तो चला था ना तो मे बी सम ट्रेड्स ट्रेड्स और टिप्स विल क्लिक तो ऐसे करके चल रहा था बट वन पॉइंट इन टाइम व्हाट हैपेंड ही सजेस्टेड अ शॉर्ट पोजीशन ऑन बैंक निफ्टी एंड उस टाइम मार्केट थोड़ा नीचे जा रहा था No, sorry. He suggested a long. The market niche ja raha tha. He suggested a long. So, me long liya. Pehle ek lot liya tha. Fir market niche gaya. To me, usko bola yar market niche ja raha. What should I do? Shall I exit? He said, No, no, no. You average. So I buy more lots. And market kept going down. And after a point in time, I that was the day when I realized, okay, over a period of two three months. and that bank nifty trade i lost almost that was the biggest loss actually that was more than 2 uh, lakhs close to i think uh, i don't remember the exact position sizing but i think i uh, put 6 7 futures i went long basically averaging it down averaging it down but market kept going down kept going down and at one point in time i was i was like no i'll have to take this hit and this guy was still suggesting you know Keep averaging down. Market will eventually go up. I knew that market market eventually always goes up. Everybody knows that. But till how long you can be in red? So I took that hit, and that was the day I blocked him. And then I decided, no, this is it. But one thing I understood that 
you know, stock market is something which is very interesting. If you can gain some knowledge, if you can build something on top of it, then you know you can stay here for long and make some significant amount of money. So that was the takeaway. But I never lo- lost hope. Like I mean, some people will be like. I lost seven lakhs, so they will be in depression or they will be in trauma. But I was like very sporty, guy, yeah, guy. Yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll get those money back from market only. So I had that attitude. But at that point in time, I just had that attitude that okay, I'll recover this money from the market itself. But I never had a thought process how to recover. But attitude that he can learn. then you're saying you you were learning from zerodha university and then you became smarter as well and then you uh-huh. did something okay. else then i started reading zerodha university somebody on twitter i read some thread who suggested to go through zerodha university so i started learning from what is stock market <clears throat> and at the same time i became just smarter in choosing the handles who to follow and who not to follow so i was getting smarter right or then i came across another guy who was who is very genuine right i still interact with him i'll not name him for obvious reason he is a very big handle in twitter so i talked with him over phone he sounded very intelligent he sounded very knowledgeable right and he was very articulate as well so he also runs a algo platform at that point in time he also his his pin tweet used to be the performance metrics of his algo trading now it does not exist anymore i mean now that is not his pin tweet anymore but he still has a website where he has all the back testing data where he claims this was which year 2018 uh no this is this is like early 2019 now like 2019 okay. jan okay okay and th- so i he runs this uh, algo platform Right. So he will take your login ID and password, and Algo will automatically place trades on your account. Plus, he will also send you WhatsApp notification and uh, email notification of what trades he is taking. And he he has a combination of Algo, like some regression, some trend following, some mean reversion. So it's it's a, it's a like basket of Algo, and those were mostly positional trades. So uh, and. minimum amount that you need to invest is like 10 lakhs so i i had more than 10 lakhs in my zero the accounts so i said okay you can but i made sure that you know because he needs those 10 lakhs so i'll not be utilizing 10 lakhs of the capital whatever other things if i want to do anything i'll do it with the remaining trading amount trading capital but then again uh मार्केट ऊपर जा रहा है एंड ही यूज टू गिव ऑल दो मेन रिवर्शन ट्रेड हर ट्रेड गलत जाता मुझे आई आई नो आइडिया दैट हाउ टू रीड मार्केट और हाउ टू रीड चार्ज बट मुझे लगता था डेली मार्केट ऊपर जा रहा है इसका हर ट्रेड शॉर्ट क्यों जाता है आई मीन आई यूज टू क्वेश्चन माई सेल्फ लाइक वट इज दिस गाइड डूइंग एंड वाई ही इज डूइंग ही साउंड सो नॉलेजेबल टू मी but and at the same time so was it was these were intraday trades or positional trades no no all positional no intraday all positional, positional short when market is going up ha huh. okay and his back to you you go to his website his he claims that you know uh, his back tests back testing win ratio is uh, 75% or more then rr ratio is also very high 1 is to 4 something Right. but in reality they were not matching and i used to think that that back testing is the holy grail if somebody claims 75% back test accuracy in future also it will play out 75% exactly now that was my thought process right at that point in time but at the same time i was reading and then i realized that you know there is something that can be done even i can do something but i was not a very great coder right i come from a i work with data all the time right i am work in the data management space i am expert in database you ask me anything on database i can help you with that right but i don't have the python knowledge and other things so i cannot do proper back testing 
तो उस टाइम पे व्हाट आई डिड आई बॉट डेटा राइट समथिंग टिक्ड इन मी एंड आई सेड आई नीड टू बाय डेटा एंड लेट्स डू समथिंग वेट अ सेकंड बिफोर वी गो अहेड सो यू डिसकंटिन्यूड विद दिस गाय और यू पैरेलली स्टार्टेड वर्किंग ऑन डेटा नो आई डिड नॉट डिसकंटिन्यू विद दिस गाय आई कंटिन्यूड टू दिस गाय एंड देन आफ्टर फाइव जस्ट टू वाइंड अप द स्टोरी विद हिम हाउ मेनी मंथ्स यू स्टेड विद दिस सिस्टम आई I was with his system for almost seven, eight months. And how much you gained or lost? I lost around two lakhs overall. On on a capital of ten lakhs. On a capital of ten lakhs, like yeah, twenty percent. Then you decided to pull the plug. Yeah, so it was in Sept July or August when I said, "Hey, I don't want to continue anymore." <clears throat> so so like a, was there any month or any quarter which was in heavy losses or losses again were gradually boring in a very monotonous fashion going on every like 9 out of 10 trades will end up in red that was the okay. accuracy at least for the time i was subscribed i don't know okay. what happened prior to me or what happened after me okay. during those period his algo was not performing well so i mean before i go ahead with my journey right so then around june or july i told him hey i don't want to continue with the subscription i want to pull out but he insisted you know let's carry on for another uh, and he charges uh, 20% of the profit right but i never got profit so i never had to pay him anything apart from the initial onboarding money that he took from me around 10 or how 12. much how much is the onboarding i have never heard of onboarding money yeah he took 12000 onboarding for what onboarding like you you go and board somewhere <laughs> i mean that's yes, what onboarding to is <laughs> yeah so now that you are you are yourself an algo trader you bought the data and you did all that stuff so uh, i mean just your intuitive understanding or right answer or the perfect answer will never have but your intuitive understand that back test that you were that was shown to you was it like uh, you know uh, selective cherry picking or it was totally wrong or what went wrong in the back test and the, even results results cannot mismatch for 8 months i mean it can in a rare, rare scenario but like what went wrong according to you absolutely i think it was a hugely hugely curve fitted back test right and i even doubt see back test it can be curve fitted and secondly also it will depend on what quality of data you are using so i don't even know the quality of the data that he has used but then again i cannot question that those are all the my assumptions yeah yeah definitely but you, your money was on the line so you can just share your thoughts and uh, yeah and so basically uh, curve fitted data and did you get a sense that he himself was trading his capital large capital with that particular uh, system or is, is was it only the public money uh, so i asked him did you uh, did you put your own capital on the algo how do you trade so he told me yeah i put my own capital on the algo plus i do some discretionary as well on the sides and he had some user base but this time i was little smarter like i said right i was getting smarter with the market so this time before getting onboarded i asked him yeah, why don't you give me some reference who has been you know uh, given his money to you and so that i can speak and get a live review so he shared one guy's phone number and that guy was very positive about him right that he is generating a very good return over a period of last two years so i am not questioning that guy's authenticity but i mean my 7 8 month experience has not been very very pleasant Okay. So okay. when after six months, I told him, you know, I want to quit. I want to uh, take my money out. So he was like, let's continue for another couple of months. I was apprehensive, but I could not say no for some reason. But at the end of the day, yeah, you can tell me, Shroom, you were dumb. It was your money. You were losing your money. Then why did you stay on board for another couple of months? But I mean, even I get this from my family a lot that I cannot say no. Right? I'm bad at saying no. but i continued for another two months and then eventually in those said, uh, two months of not being able to say no how much more you lost i think around the 40 50000 so yeah. uh, when i initially you are a really rich guy yaar yeah nahi yeah. yaar yeah. it's not rich uh, it's, but i always have this attitude of you know 
going around as a rich guy. Paisa ho na ho, right? I behave like a rich guy. <laughs> yeah, that should be the spirit. So after you decided, you had two bad experiences, uh, basically. Then, like, you decided to take things on your in your own hand. Then I and no, another episode on this guy. So yeah. uh, few months back, I don't know why we interacted over Twitter, and he suggested me, hey. Uh, do you want to onboard again or no he did not ask me to onboard he said do you want to follow my calls for a couple of months and then take a call right based on the call it's it's like it's, it's like after breakup you you do one, one last makeup sex right last makeup sex ha ha so even the makeup yes. sex did not work <laughs> that's a very good analogy yeah even the makeup sex did not work because i followed his call for two months and i did not see anything to change my view <laughs> don't tell me you lost point. money then also i could have lost money then also right wow wow man so so yeah so but what prompted him to invite you for two more months maybe he was trying to onboard uh, more subscribers maybe he he, he was checking with me uh, i i i think the discussion started with the fact there was this traders carnival uh, carnival that was happening in hyderabad right am i audible yeah i think we connected over twitter over the traders carnival that was happening in hyderabad a traders carnival happened right few months back in hyderabad Achha, just recently he onboarded you again for two months onboarded as in like i did not put my real money he just used to share the trades with me over whatsapp and email okay ki is pe icici pe long jao itne but you maintained a trade log of that you know if you would have taken the trade so, like how much you would have lost or gained ha i did not follow it 100% because my confidence <laughs> level was anyway down but okay so but i followed few trades and i jo bhi trade at least maine follow kiya tha wo to did not uh, did not make profit Yeah. and he used, he used to hit kyunki wo twitter he used to send whatsapp right so go long on icici very next day exit stop loss it <laughs> so usi se ho jata tha i didn't even have to look at the charts and all because he used to send the exit signals as well to usi se pata chal jata tha when he have to take the entry and when he is asking to take exit okay okay but he is a genuine guy i mean he helped me as well along the way to be very honest like what uh, because, kind of help <clears throat> because uh, when i was working on my setup w- while he i was uh, subscribing to him i was doing all the reading and i bought data right and i did back testing as well but my back testing like i said i only have database knowledge i did my back testing using pl sql code for loop dikke database mein data dal ke but it was not a full fledged system which can be Uh, you know taken alive taken like so and i did not know too many guys back then right who were good traders i think i only came to uh, came in touch with couple of guys who were good traders but i was kind of a little reluctant guy and there are very few people on twitter who i reached out to by myself i mean there are so many guys who reached out to me and then we had a conversation and now we are very good friends and there are people like who has more more followers like way more followers than me right they reach out to me and then we can have a conversation but uh, i somehow am little reluctant and lazy kind of a guy to reach out so uh, so this guy actually then i was not able to build a trading system around it right so i asked him that uh, can you help me create a life system with this rules so he he actually does not use any python or anything he used ninja trader so he coded my system in ninja coder with my just, just to just to uh, you know uh, clear it for guys like me who are like totally dumb in in system trading and algo trading ninja is like mb broker like a third party order firing platform right right no right. Right. yeah okay and you can write okay. uh, c sharp and c hash kind of code right in ninja trader it supports couple of other languages as well perhaps i'm not 100% but he used to code using c hash okay 
so he coded my so system. he did the he, he did the coding for you and you had the algorithm or the flow chart ready what to when to buy when to sell uh no actually i asked him to run it because i had a mac laptop and ninja trader to run the ninja trader you need a desktop version and you need to install it in your laptop but uh, windows laptop that i have had is a office laptop so i cannot install those kind of softwares for regulations right and i cannot install ninja trader on my macbook so i asked him you already have my user id and password you are uh, running your algo on my id so you run this algo on my id as well from your laptop yeah. so he was running it but then i noticed that there was lot of delay and you know lag तो मुझे लगा मे बी हिज सिस्टम इज नॉट सो सोफिस्टिकेटेड फॉर एंड माई सिस्टम इज काइंड ऑफ अ वर्जन ऑफ अ ब्रेकआउट सिस्टम एंड ब्रेकआउट सिस्टम एक्सिक्यूशन बिकम्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट राइट इवन अ फाइव सिक्स सेकेंड डिले कैन बी उससे काफी लॉस मतलब यू नॉट गेट द एग्जैक्ट प्राइस वट यूर लुकिंग फॉर राइट पोजिशनल पे शायद उसका जो सिस्टम है उस पर वो चल जाता होगा right with 5 6 seconds delay but uh, it's very hard to absorb 5 seconds 5 6 seconds delay in a in a intraday breakout system so then i started looking for other options right to usko bhi maine bola yaar tum band karo wo software chala na so i'll find a another route he was charging a fees for that software running all as well onboarding on the software as well or was it free for you no he no running execution was free he did not charge me anything But to code it, he charged me some some amount, which is okay. It was a, it was a weird kind of a relationship, right? How well I was only paying for everything. <laughs> yeah. then, so then I asked him to stop, and then that is the time when I switched to Tretron. Okay. So Probably that is the time when we first interacted as well, and I gave you a feedback about Retron, if you remember. Yeah, September but for me, August. Retron was the best alternative at that point in time because coming from a non-technical, I mean, coding background, Retron was a good alternative for me. And that time I was making money. So when people people used to talk about you know slippage, you know, क्या बात करते मैं तो कितना कमा रहा हूँ छोड़ो ये सब slippage slippage what nonsense they are talking about, right? How But did you stumble it, upon the basic strategy? That did you attend any webinar, seminar, or did uh, you had a, a guru or furu or as you you often say furu or like it came in your dream? Like basic strategy of a breakout, I believe on some time frame intraday, I guess, right? Yeah. Or I yeah. used to see your screenshot. So how did you stumble on such a strategy? Okay, so basically, at when I started, right, मुझे कुछ पता नहीं था what is options, what is that. Even at that point in time, I mean, I came to know about options, but there are various option strategy like a straddle, strangle, iron frame. I knew nothing, right? I only knew stock. There is a candlestick. There is this OHLC data, and either it goes up or it goes down. and i somehow i mean while reading and maybe i watched few videos i had this i had this uh, feeling that indicators does not work because they are mostly lagging indicators right they generate the signal after the fact and date and i also had some data understanding because i come from the data management and data analysis mein bhi zindagi mein bahut kiya hai right so after buying the data i thought what can be done right so i started you know uh, coding these various breakout systems now let's say why, why why breakout why not mean revert because why not uh, like uh, wall neutral or something like uh, sorry delta neutral or something okay so like i said delta neutral to mujhe pata hi nahi tha what is delta neutral okay to ye straddle triangle to mujhe samajh hi nahi tha to wo sab mere idea mere dimag pe aata hi nahi and mean reversion se to mere ko nafrat ho gaya tha because i lost so much money to this guy because most of his trades were generating mean reversion when the market was uptrending to mujhe pakka pata tha ye mean reversion bakwas hai right so trend is the only thing if the market is going up i have to find a way to catch the up move if the market is going down i have to find a way to catch the down move right 
i don't believe in this mean reversion from even even uh, even if you ask me as a person right i don't believe in that philosophy ki jo upar ja raha hai ek point ke baad wo niche aayega definitely niche aayega but from what point is very difficult to identify for anybody to know so it's better to be on the right side of the trade if the market is going up stay long if the market is going down stay short right and and what prompted that, you to do I, i believe you started with intraday so what prompted you to do intraday ha intraday there is another thing right because from my previous experience wo average kar kar ke short kiya tha right and raat ko main wo dekhta rehta tha like uh, डाउ कितना ऊपर जा रहा है नीचे जा रहा है बिकॉज आई हैव दिस आइडिया कि डाउ नीचे जा रहा है तो कल निफ्टी भी नीचे खोलेगा तो आई हैव टेकन एवरेज डाउन सो आई हैड ऑल दिस एक्सपीरियंस सो आई हैड सो फ्रॉम ऑल दिस बैड एक्सपीरियंसेस देयर वाज सम लर्निंग्स तो सो इट वाज अ काइंड ऑफ अ बेसिकली वेरी एक्सपेंसिव ट्यूशन फीस दैट यू पेड 10 लाख रुपीस टू द मार्केट या यू कैन से दैट यू कैन से दैट बट आई ऑलवेज बिलीव कि वो सब अगर नहीं होता तो आई वुडेंट बी हियर वेर आई एम टुडे एंड थैंकफुली टुडे आई कैन टेल यू दैट आई रिकवर्ड व्हाट एवर फीस आई पेड टू द मार्केट इन अर्ली डेज सो आई रिकवर दैट फीस ओके ओके सो यू 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 डिजाइंड सम बेसिक सिस्टम एंड यू स्टार्टेड बैक टेस्टिंग इट आई स्टार्टेड बैक टेस्टिंग इट बट देन अगेन विद ब्रेकआउट सिस्टम ऑन टॉप ऑफ दैट आई रियलाइज्ड यू नो आई आई एम आई वाज नेवर रेडी टू यूज एनी इंडिकेटर बट एट द सेम टाइम आई ऑलवेज यूज्ड टू थिंक कि just breakout will not work because everybody is doing some kind of breakout and by that time i was pretty active on twitter i was following lot of people i was reading lot of uh, threads and other things i was watching videos so i i knew that you know just breakout will not work i have to use some kind of sophistication some kind of confirmation to confirm that okay this is a breakout and so what i used Uh, from my logical sense what i used okay if the breakout happens by a certain percentage then i will go long you know and if the trade still moves in the direction right in the in the long direction right after a point i will do some pyramiding and similar thing i will do on the short side as well so that was the simple system that i designed and i had only back tested it with two and a half years data and the results were very you you very you, you bought the data right from nsc or from from vendor no no nsc se nahi uh, i bought it from gdfl and how much it costed you if you can share i think per year they were initially asking for for futures data they were asking 8000 but then i did some negotiation and overall for two and a half years i paid 15 or 16000 total you paid 15000 rupees for the data ha for two and a half years data right okay and why you took only two and a half years and not longer okay the thought process was because i am going to trade options right on nifty basically mera ye idea tha i was actually when i bought the data i was sure that i am going to trade future but my idea was that i read lot of articles where people said that after 2019 beginning jab se nifty started the weekly options the market has changed a lot so at that point i thought there is no point going beyond 2019 so 2019 should be my starting point for back testing now that you are like so uh... well versed with the market and data crunching as well and algo as well with real results uh, if if any beginner uh, you know uh, algo trader budding algo trader is listening so what do you suggest like if it is like 15000 is the total two year data for nifty futures then how many years of data he should buy ideally optimally optimally first thing i mean before anybody work on any strategy firstly i would suggest anybody to understand the risk management part how much you are investing and how much you are risking per trade pehle wo samjho uske baad strategy strategy is the last last thing i did not i realized it today maybe i realized it uh, couple of uh, last year or last to last year but at the point when i was working on the strategy i used to think that strategy is your biggest edge but and market actually rewarded me handsomely i used to take a lot of leverage 
लेकिन मेरा ट्रेड चल गया बिकॉज ऑनेस्टली आई स्टार्टेड विद अ वेरी स्मॉल कैपिटल ऑन बेस ऑन विच आई वॉज रनिंग माई एल्बो टू बी एग्जैक्ट इट वॉज लाइक टेन थाउजेंड लेस दैन फोर लैक्स एंड विद इन फाइव सिक्स मंथस आई इन फैक्ट डबल बाई मनी नॉट मे बी हंड्रेड परसेंट डबल क्योंकि उसके बाद मैंने और थोड़ा कैपिटल इन्फ्यूज किया सो इट डिफिकल्ट टू मैनेज द एग्जैक्ट कैलकुलेट द एग्जैक्ट परसेंटेज बट वो तीन लाख नब्बे का डबल कितना होता है सिक्स लैक्स सेवन लैक्स एट्टी थाउजेंड होता है राइट सो आई मेड अराउंड सेवन लैक्स सिक्सटी थाउजेंड विद इन फाइव सिक्स मंथस उस टाइम पे लेवरेज था आई यूज टू टेक दैट लेवरेज दिस इज नॉट समथिंग दैट आई विल रिकमेंड टू एनी बडी बट it worked for me it worked why why won't you recommend and what was the risk per trade that you were taking oh my risk used to be around uh, 2% per trade not per day if you ask me today today i my you know risk is like 1 to 1.5% per day but at that point in time and how uh, how many trades like you were taking percent. maximum uh, uh, 2% per trade and how many trades maximum you were taking in a day it can go up to 4 so basically on a, on a very very bad day you can lose 8% in a day yeah yeah okay okay and then what was your learning was like you were making good money right and because i was taking leverage and people used to make fun of me somebody used to say yaar shom ka fir se bada screenshot aayega and tab us time pe leverage bhi aata tha to there have been days when i made 16% now if i look back on my timeline and look at those percentage mujhe khud ka khud dal lagta hai अभी मैं क्या बोल रहा था बट इट वॉज एक्चुअली सिक्सटी नॉट लाइक दैट आई यू नो आई मेड अप दोज फिगर और आई वॉज लाइंग आई एक्चुअली मेड दोज परसेंटेज बट इफ यू आस्क मी राइट फ्रॉम विल यू टेक दैट माइंड दैट परसेंटेज ऑफ रिस्क टूडे माई आंसर वुड बी ए नो मैं खुद पे हंसता हूँ उस टाइम का देख के Yeah, so but you, it, everything was going as per plan. You doubled your money and leverage was working for you. Maybe market also favored you. So what prompted you to course correct? So, and the, so the, sorry to like uh, go a little back. So this uh, uh, live trades you were running on uh, trade trade round, right? Third party uh, algo platform, right? Correct, correct, correct. So, uh, take us through that experience as well, and what do you re- recommend if someone is at your exact your stage right now today? What do you recommend? so what i would say right so there are two things that i've done so when i was so i ran my individual trade on tradetron for two months and when i realized the platform is stable right and like i said that at that point in time i did not used to care about sleeper edges because i was making very good money right end of the month if i am making 10 15 20% money i mean who who thinks about slippage right you think about slippage and all the other execution glitches when you are in drawdown or when you are losing money right us time pe to mujhe lagta tha main like i am betting and i am winning every day or every other day to tradetron pe after spending couple of months uske baad mujhe laga let's open this for subscription as well right so two things uh, i think i thought it is is a way to monetize right so that i can if people will make money then only i'll make money mera idea aisa tha ki I never charge anybody to onboard or any fixed fee. मेरा कभी नहीं था, right? So, and I was very selective in choosing guys. Like whenever somebody will reach out to me over WhatsApp, the show I want to onboard. मैं पहले उसका मैं उसके साथ फोन पे आधा घंटा बात करूँगा, फिर चैट पे समझाऊँगा that okay, this, these are the things that nuisances that you should understand, right? If you're this should be your risk appetite. I used to spend a lot of time. और काफी लोगों को मैं बोलता था कि नहीं तुम उसके पास जाओ यू नो इफ यू सब्सक्राइब टू हिस एल्गो यू विल डू बेटर बिकॉज यूर रिस्क एपिटाइट इज नॉट सो हाई तो दैट वॉज काइंड ऑफ आई आई नेवर आई नेवर हैड गुड मार्केटिंग स्किल्स बट आई 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 मीन आई विल आई ऑलवेज बिलीव इन बींग हंड्रेड परसेंट ट्रांसपेरेंट राइट वेन आई आई वॉज लूजिंग मनी तो फिर क्या हुआ टू थाउजेंड टू थाउजेंड दिस इज टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू 2021 last year right last year after from february march april i was in drawdown and 
I was in drawdown, but my drawdown percentage was different than my subscribers. So, I, I believe that, that that point of time I was like tracking your uh, trade run. You had one uh, fifty subscribers, right? No, at the peak. I never had one fifty. I mean, maybe lot of people were running paper trade on my strategy, but active okay, okay. active people, you know, who were uh, putting their putting their money on my strategy. Uh, it was around at highest peak. It was ten people, not more than that. Okay, so ten people were there. Okay, okay. Yeah, at at max. So just a side side question, like how transparent you think these uh, third party strategy platforms are in showing up the results of various creators or various. No, so one thing I noticed, I mean, lot of I've seen lot of people questioning the authenticity of the graph or the ROI that they show, but what I have seen. i mean they show the exact roi based on the paper trade not on the actual trade now actual trade may the slippage the positive slippage or negative slippage that will never be considered but paper trade mein jo entry aata hai that will be considered ha ah, but i mean i i don't have much uh, idea but uh, sandesh is listening to us and i did a uh, back test with sandesh 10 year back test on indusind bank and it was given uh, giving a uh, strategy was giving 27% every year and almost every quarter was profitable but when i added charges and slippage like brokerage and slippage then it became negative so i think but that is a deal breaker in any internet is, but there is another thing to it aran what you will see right the strategy creator what they will do right jab drawdown aa gaya tab bhi wo problem hota hai so what they will show that the total capital requirement is less than 25000 So, because they are not considering the leverage that they are taking, right? उस टाइम पे ऐसा नहीं था कि आज के दिन पे जैसे भी zero leverage, right? Actually, you need to let's say somebody is selling a shadow, right? Now you actually need one point five lakhs, right? To sell one lot, but उस टाइम पे with leverage, let's say twenty five, and every broker had their own rules to for leverage. तो कोई कोई ten x देता था, कोई five x देता था, तो Strategic creator used to write capital requirement is fifty thousand, but actually fifty thousand नहीं है ना fifty thousand में you are not trading one lot. तो ROI भी fifty thousand के हिसाब से बहुत ज़्यादा glorify करके दिखाते थे, right? Because okay. this trade on platform will never enforce that you know if somebody is trading one lot, you should put the capital as one lakh or one point five lakhs. वो free flowing field है. तो स्ट्रेटेजिक रेटर उस पर पांच हजार भी लिख सकता है नो रिस्ट्रिक्शंस के ऊपर ही कैलकुलेट होगा ना लेट्स से इफ आई आई राइट दैट यू नो मेकिंग 500 परसेंट पर डे सो लाइक देयर बी सम पीपल हु बाय इट राइट ओ देयर बी लॉट ऑफ पीपल हु विल बाय इट फॉर एग्जांपल ऑन अमेजन व्हेन वी बाय अ प्रोडक्ट देयर इज देयर इज लाइक हंड्रेड्स ऑफ फीडबैक राइट ऑफ रिव्यूज वी वी काइंड ऑफ गेट टू नो हाउ द प्रोडक्ट इज सो प्रॉब्ली फीडबैक हेल्प्स देम न्यू गाइस ऑन द प्लेटफार्म everything is fake right this reviews can be faked i can create 10 user ids and put fake reviews right how are you going to verify Where you are talking about amazon reviews or you are talking about strategy platform reviews no i am talking about the strategy platform reviews amazon review at least you can see whether it's a verified buyer or not right at least amazon give you that tag that okay but then in the long run like how, how how are the creators or the platform will survive But how do you question the authenticity? Let's say you are creating a strategy. Or let's say I am creating a, a strategy, right? And you are also a user on the Tetron platform, and you are a very good friend of mine. Every weekend, we go together to drink tea, and I ask you, Anand, give me a nice review. So you will give a nice review, right? And similarly, I can ask ten other guys to give a very good review, and they will all give a very good review. And when you search for those algos. on this uh, trading platform right algo trading platform uh, i i think they show up the ones with highest review and highest subscriber at the very top jaise so, amazon pe bhi aata hai na when you search a particular product they only show you the product which has been uh, purchased maximum number of times or with the highest ratings highest, highest reviews right so similar kind of thing they also do That's why whenever I'm buying anything on Amazon, I always look at three-star reviews. 
those are more balanced that i expected this it was like it had these 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 drawbacks but it is value for money those kind of reviews are like best i mean in my knowledge no but at least an amazon you can at least see okay whether this is a verified user jo bhi review dala hai right to amazon mein kya hota hai for example there somebody has given a one review because there was problem with the shipment time pe nahi pahuncha right so those reviews you can ignore right but here in this kind of platform any random guy can come and give a good review and there is no way for you to authenticate that but uh, anyway so over a period of time the other thing what i realized is right i was not managing anybody's money directly but people are subscribing to my algo now what i will know and this is not like when somebody is subscribing to my algo they don't have any control they have full control on how they want to run the algo they can pause the algo on any particular day they can change the position sizing so and you know people apply all this you know, people think they are super smart they apply all this uh, smart logic and some day do din dd hit karega do din stop loss hit karega then what they will do they will pause the algo third day they will increase the double the position sizing some day they will half the position sizing they will do all this tricks right and over a period of time what will happen and and these decisions are based on some random thoughts right there is no science behind it it's not like i am suggesting them to reduce the position sizing it's just that they are doing everything on their own and over a period of time although the let's say the actual algorithm if you run with consistent position sizing is at 5% drawdown but there will be some subscriber who is at 50% drawdown or there is some subscriber who is at 1% drawdown right so all these things will happen so over a period of time i thought you know this is this is not sustainable not sustainable as in like definitely sustainable if i had a uh, different kind of thought process but mera thought process was a thing mujhe lag raha hai yaar because i if i cannot my system cannot control the emotion of the subscriber is better not to have subscribers right and at the same time i was also facing this execution issues kyunki abhi mera drawdown bhi chal raha tha right so i realized that you know there is this execution what kind of execution issues like delays and slippages or beyond that one is delay right even unka paper trade mein bhi 4 second ka delay hota hai so 4 second 3 4 seconds ka delay even on the paper trade i have noticed it myself and in your actual trades actual trade mein like 6 seconds another add another 2 3 seconds okay and, and like that was that that but that is like a uh, that is one problem which will be there in most of the strategy platforms but did it ever happen that server itself is down or you not able to take a position or you not able to square off a position you know big loss kind of a situation where you are helpless yeah i'll give did you did it ever examples. happen i'll yeah, give yeah. you a few examples right so there have been couple of instances when their data feed was down so there was some outage right but those are only couple of instances the thing that used to uh, bother me the most sometime what will happen i will get a notification that there was a error in execution and then they have this option of retry so what i will do i'll retry retry say let's say i'm doing the first retry again is showing execution fail i'll do the second retry third retry then it will be successful and uh, all this while when i'm doing this i'm not checking the broker terminal now after some time when i go to the broker terminal i see all the orders where it showed execution error they were all placed successfully right so now i have like triple the lot size of what i was supposed to execute so these the this was the cha- this was the biggest problem right they're showing execution error when there is actually no execution error okay so this is like a flaw in the algo itself the platform itself right it's a platform error right because platform so you you will have to do it manually the square of you have to do manually of the extra orders on the extra order right so i'll have to all do all these manual calculations as well for the stop loss price everything so in a fast moving market you can l- never relax because once it happens then always you'll be vigilant you'll be like a manual trader watching all the time right and and 
on top of it i have a very very busy job right which keeps me busy almost like from morning 9 till you know, 9 10 pm in the evening and i'll be always on calls and just imagine i'm in the middle of a very important call where i have to present a deck or something or there's some client escalation call and then i'm getting all this execution error right and then i'm repunching the order only to realize after 5 minutes that you know have my position sizing is 5x now these were like random instances and it uh, you know cancelled each other out or there was some large loss because of this error that you're talking about no i never faced huge loss i mean other than those small slippages here and there because i used to at the end of the day my money is on the line so when i know some execution error has happened so i'll have to take care of it manually even today right so no no algo platform right is 100% proof so execution glitches can still happen right so i was managing those trade manually and i was putting those assets manually so never a loss situation but i know i was like no i mean i should have something better than what i have so is you know even i'm and i was paying significant amount of money every month as well because i was i had listed myself as a portfolio manager right and so what money you were paying as a portfolio manager my understanding is that you should get money right no what happens anand right so as a portfolio manager where people can subscribe to your strategy so 6000 or something you have to pay okay for what just to be every month 6000 dollars 6000 rupees but then you you will get money from the subscribers right yeah. their onboarding ka cut or their profit ka cut or whatever right ha 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 so that i'll be getting but like i said during that period uh, few of the subscriber left and because the because the strategy was in dd right so i was not getting any money from the <coughs> from the subscriber <clears throat> and on, just going a little when, off topic when, uh, yeah go on go on, go on. Then even when i'm make, even when the subscribers are ending in profit let's say somebody ended in let's let's take an absolute number let's say he's net 10000 profit somebody made 10000 profit so and what i have said that i will take 18% from that right so 10000 ka 18% ho gaya kitna 1800 hota hai right Yeah. So from that eighteen hundred also, Tretron will take another twenty percent. Okay. Okay. And then subscriber will come and tell me from out of this ten thousand profit, uh, one thousand two thousand was brokerage cost. Why don't you give me a discount of two thousand? Remember? And I was like, Yeah, I'll give you two thousand discount also. Right? <laughs> like. you get gave 2000 to the subscriber so you were paying paying from your own pocket ha huh, sort of right i mean that's like, how i should have subscribed yaar yeah. that's like free money on the table i mean i don't know how other other strategy you know does it but mere sath aisa hi hota tha so yeah but you were like too kind hearted yeah so so what triggered you to move move out like you decided that okay you you have a good strategy it is going to work and but you wanted to make it big so you wanted to make a full proof i'll go through professional coders and so on right right acha just a, a side question a light hearted question you know there is a concept in physics na i think uh, somebody can correct me if i'm wrong that quantum theory or something that you know if if someone is watching you then the performance is different and if nobody is watching you then performance is different <laughs> that is related to electron i think the slit theory or something i am forgetting the name now So did it have it happened is that you were making good amount of uh, profits and the moment people started you know uh, tracking it as as your subscriber in real life tracking then things started going south yeah that's exactly i know actually i mean when people onboarded for 2 3 months it was giving it was it made decent profit but the month before i went live with subscription october month i think i mean 2020 october i went hopping like Thirty, uh, thirty plus percent profit. I mean, with leverage, of course. So, did so, you feel like you know, either ka, like, either ka Bhagwan me hi hai, or ye sab bekar hai, jo log 20 saal se kar rahe hai, mutual fund wale, AIF wale, Nikhil Kamati log sab bekar hai. Thirty percent me banana, but isko scale up karne ka retire karne. Did you feel did, get the feeling like that? 
oh absolutely anand absolutely and i was still a beginner at that point in time right i hardly spent one year right and and there is this myth right i mean in percentage terms maybe my profit has gone down but i see there's a myth lot of traders say on twitter they may be right they may be speaking from their experience but they say you know experience teaches you a lot it takes at least 5 years to make money right and all that i, I mean with all due respect i think if you have good common sense and good understanding of data and if you in the very beginning if you understand how to manage your risk right i don't think uh, it's a it's a very hard game okay but, but twitter every second guy says it's so tough and it's like it's going to screw you from here it it, it will go, do this from there you know you know you are not going to make money 99% people are going to fail it's losers game and all that so yeah, what is your take I, on that i'll tell you one thing anand most people fail because they're restless they're greedy and they switch from one strategy to another that's number one and number two they don't know how to manage the risk and how to position signs <clears throat> position signs their strategy i'll give you a small example right and that majorly happens right option buying can make you rich right if you are on the right side of the trend but then because it's cheap right is very easy to lose money i'll just give you a small example right let's say there is somebody mr x who enters the market with 1 lakh capital and he has watched some great webinar where he got a great you know option buying strategy right now i am not getting into the part whether the strategy works or does not work now let's say the and let's say i am mr y right so we both got the same strategy but i understand risk management and this mr x does not understand risk management so what i will do let's say i have to take a entry of nifty at 17000 for example right and my stop loss will be 30 30 point fixed stop loss right 30 point niche aayega to i'll take an exit right now we both have 1 lakh capital right so what i will do with 1 lakh capital let's say i will only buy one lot right and let's say uh, nifty ka atm is going at 100 rupees right now right 17000 ce is at 100 rupees right so essentially how many lot can be bought 20 lot max right kyunki ek one lot agar 100 ka chal raha hai to one lot is 5000 right so you can actually buy 20 lots with the 1 lakh amount right so so i bought one lot this guy bought 20 lot right and both have a stop loss of 30 point and when stop loss hit right so how much i lost 30 point is like uh, 13 to 50 1500 right 1500 is like how much in percentage term how much it is for for uh, 1 lakh is like 1.5% so i lost 1.5% because i had good risk management i understand how to uh, play with risk and how to position size and this guy this guy bought 20 20 lots right iska bhi 30% uh, 30 point stop loss hit hua how much he lost isne 20 lot khareeda tha right so it will be 30 into 50 into 20 30000 which is like 30% to ek trip pe iska 30% chala gaya right so for him then he, i mean we, again like without getting into how good or bad yeah man, too, too much of maths right? actually confuses me am i audible hello ha 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 yeah too much of maths actually confuses me a lot of my audience also will get confused so basically you're saying don't have a position size which will have you know maximum loss as you know 5% 10% 30% 30%. after so much of uh, live trading and back testing what is the position size you recommend that in in a typical trade how much would be the loss in percentage now this now now if you have to compare a selling system and a buying system right in selling system you cannot take any leverage right leverage to hai nahi so even if you want to go aggressive you cannot because अगर आपको सेल करना है यू हैव टू हैव 1.5 लाख फॉर वन लॉट राइट बट जब बाय करना है वो तो प्रीमियम जितना कम होगा राइट 
utna buy kar sakte ho percentage that's where people go wrong i think right but yeah coming back to your question right i typically think one should not again it depends on from system to system and your risk appetite but i think if per trade nobody should risk more than 2% of their capital right and i'll give you an example let's say let's say i have both of you both you and me have 10 lakhs right you have very high risk appetite i have very low risk appetite to tumhara risk appetite is 5% per day my risk appetite is 2% per day right now with 2% right for my capital to reduce to half from 10 lakhs to 5 lakhs right i will need around uh, i was i i was doing this math somewhere yeah it will take me 35 trades to agar 35 continuous trade if it goes wrong then only i will lose 50% of my capital with 2% risk appetite but if your risk appetite is 5% then after 14 trade only right if, if all these 14 trades are ending in loss so your capital size will become half right so the first thing people need to understand is how to position size how to risk strategy and everything comes very late into the game yeah tell Just me one thing that you know on twitter the dominant theme is that option sellers make lot of money they have all the luxuries of life and option buyers are gamblers they lose all the money slowly or maybe fast but you started as with synthetic first so what prompted you to start with synthetic and uh, you i mean i saw your screenshot so i remember you started with synthetic and synthetic by the way for people who are new uh, is like buying an option atm and selling also atm uh, option of index right right so i'm right yeah 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 so buying and an- then uh, I, i i guess you kept on doing some modification later on so uh, walk us through that why you started with synthetic and then what were the modifications you did because buying option is like a crime on twitter no there are very there are quite a few guys who are doing very good with option buying right see with option buying if the momentum is on your side right if there is gamma effect right and if you let's say you are buying little in the money option or at the money option and which is which has good momentum then only it makes sense right if you are not able to get that momentum even at the end of the day if nifty or f- nifty future is high by 5 or 10 percent 5 or 10 points your buy option will still lose money agar momentum if the timing is not right when you are entering when you are exiting and how many points you are collecting to so day and pe shayad nifty from your entry point will be 10 point or 20 point up but you had bought the option at 100 rupees but your option can be still at 90 rupees right now so when you started trading in options uh, but uh, your strategy was back tested on futures right so why didn't you do it on futures no me actually i started with futures only anand okay initially i was trading futures but then you know after spending a lot of time on twitter and kiru suggested me actually i had a discussion with kiru and he suggested me this idea of doing synthetic because synthetic replicates the future movement overall and it saves you cost as well because uh, one option uh, sorry one future contract transaction cost was coming to around you know 700 800 rupees per day where with synthetic it came down to 200 300 rupees so which is a big saving actually i lost your voice hello 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 so when you uh, started <coughs> trading options so did you study gamma vega vanna channa or like you started just replicating futures uh anand if you ask me still i don't know all these terms right with all due respect people who know well this, i mean on a lighter note you are giving lot of due respect like bahut bahut jyada due respect you are giving it's are it's you so humble in real life Yeah, yeah, I'm a very humble guy because see, I'm a I'm a manager, so I have to get things done by my, you know, associate. So I'm always like, "Bhaiya, kar do, please, yeah." <laughs> so I'm always very humble. So who are these guys whom you are giving so much of respect? Like, are they your gurus or like they 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 are your? 
no no see everybody has it i mean whatever you are doing like people say lot of tunnel gamma alpha see at the end of the day you are buying at a price you are selling at a price but a lot of people tell me that without knowing these complex greeks you can't make money like right if it was so easy everybody would have been making money no i if you ask me if i understand all these things it will be more difficult for me to make money how again i might be wrong in the long term right five years feel feel say disclaimer kitna disclaimer dega bhai like say, say tell your heart out the nee, way bhai, you koi, are on twitter the way nee, you koi. like fire people on twitter nee bhai kisi ko agar koi kaam kar raha hai right somebody is koi iv dekhta hai koi ye dekhta hai koi matlab there are different kind of doctors right to mujhe cheez ek cheez pata hai right if you have a car right car mein i need a accelerator स्टीयरिंग जिससे मैं कंट्रोल करूंगा एक्सलेटर जिससे मैं तेज भागूंगा या स्लो करूंगा एंड देन आई नीड अ ब्रेक ब्रेक इज माई स्टॉप लॉस इफ आई हैव ऑल दिस राइट रेस्ट ऑफ द ऑल थिंग्स मेरे पास वो टच पैड वाला यू नो मैप आता है कि नहीं वॉइस कमांड से कार स्टॉप होता है कि नहीं ऑटो पायलट है कि नहीं यू नो वो सब नहीं चाहिए मुझे राइट आई नीड अ बेसिक कार राइट सो फॉर मी दिस इज माई बेसिक कार विच टेक्स मी फ्रॉम पॉइंट ए टू पॉइंट बी and it has been doing successfully for almost close to 2 years i'm happy with this car okay so what prompted you to uh, change from a uh, synthetic which is a buy atm call and sell atm put or vice versa what modifications you did and why you know firstly kya, firstly what happened when i was going through the drawdown i thought you know i actually started doubting my system it happens with everybody and it happened to me as well so then uh, i got it back tested on 10 years okay and uh, average like point... how you had only 2 years data right mm-hmm. how somebody did you back test for 10 years somebody reached out to me somebody reached out to me and he wanted to back test my system and before this day i had never interacted with this guy but for some like, reason wh- you know i had uh, i mean before that lot of people reached out to me to share my strategy because everybody was seeing me on twitter where i was sharing 10% 20% profit every day lot of people reached out to me to share the share the strategy or give share some hints but i never did but with this guy i don't know i mean i i thought okay maybe he is the right guy so basically I, some kind of bromance happened ha ah, kuch to hua <laughs> right so i uh, i also share. mentioned you in my uh, webinar that you have the data and people should approach you and i think you are flooded with so so many requests for data ha i shared the data for free actually i shared the wow. data wow. I shared a thread ki bhai yahan pe google drive pe maine rakh diya hai jisko lena hai le lo yeah. so what thought, happened after you know, the bro months i thought everybody should uh, get the data because i already spent uh, and i thought you know why not share it with people there are a lot of people who needs data so let's share it yeah bromance is basically uh, so he reached out to me he asked me you know if you share your strategy i can back test it over 10 years and he understood he used to see my trade and he understood kind of what i am doing and he was telling me see i don't think what you are doing is going to uh, going to sustain over on years like 2017 that's a very strong statement by the way i also understood kind of what you are doing and i remember i told you one thing why you are doing eod stop loss and why you are not trailing it do you remember that i told you not to when you made 30% remember, but i i mean while i was doing back testing or data crunching i could not find any effective way to uh, do trail trailing right so i i knew that you know this is uh, what the drawback of my system is but at that point market itna upar ja raha tha itna upar ja raha tha just covid ke baad i never cared and that guy also suggested me you know jab tak ja raha hai bhag raha hai bhagne do gaadi right kuch mat karo jis din gaadi rukegi us din dekhenge okay so, so then then you did a 10 year back test and what happened so the average point that came out per trade was close to 6 okay to so, 6 on nifty yeah 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 and at the same time what i was doing because i was going through the drawdown phase and by then okay by then of course i knew what is saddle what is triangle ye sab mujhe pata chal gaya tha so i started exploring selling system because even though i was making lot of money through my trend following but the equity curve was very erratic right matlab 
कभी दस परसेंट का डीप आता है कभी थर्टी परसेंट ऊपर जाता है सो आई वॉन्टेड स्मूथ कर्व राइट एंड माई माइंड सेट आई डोंट नो हाउ इट प्लेज आउट फॉर एवरीबडी बट माई माइंड सेट चेंज एज अ ट्रेडर ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम माई रिस्क कैपिटाइट रिड्यूस्ड सो बिकॉज लाइक आई सेट आई वॉज टेकिंग टू परसेंट रिस्क एट एवरी ट्रेड एंड नाउ माई एंटायर risk appetite for day is like little over 1% so my mindset change and then slowly i got into selling selling pe basically i don't do any rocket science what i do is like teen char straddle chalate hain right say it say you do 920 straddle say it 920 nahi chalata bro 920 i'm just kidding yeah yeah but there's nothing wrong with 920 actually right is it is it so many people say that you know 920 people are going to be destroyed no no bro either you run it at 920 or 921 see what you are doing right at any point in time you are taking a entry right trend following ka bhi tum breakout kar rahe ho ya swing high swing low kuch bhi kar rahe ho you are taking an entry and it can go wrong similarly with fixed time entry also either it will run in your favor or it will go wrong right but as long as you know right what percentage you are risking and how much you are ready to lose per day you know jaise bloc bolte hai na the, the law of large number will play out eventually right be it 920 or 930 karo 940 karo kuch bhi karo right to kya kya kar diya let's say 25% pe laga diya stop loss right what else you can do right एक का स्टॉप लॉस लग गया तो दूसरे को मूव टू कॉस्ट कर दो या कुछ ट्रेलिंग कर दो राइट दैट्स ऑल यू कैन डू सो कीप डूइंग इट एट द एंड ऑफ द डे इफ यू कैन मैनेज योर रिस्क ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ यू नो ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम द लॉ ऑफ लार्ज नंबर विल प्ले आउट इन योर फेवर आई एम 100 परसेंट बट इफ यू कीप स्विचिंग सिस्टम नहीं आज थोड़ा ऑप्शन बाई कर लेता हूँ टुमोरो आई डू नाइन ट्वेंटी टुमोरो आई डू डे आफ्टर टुमोरो आई डू वन ओ क्लॉक वन डे आई तो बेसिकली यू आर चेंजिंग योर कॉइन एवरी डे राइट probability of every trade is still 50% right on any given day either it will play out in your favor or it will go against you but tossing the same coin right brings that discipline and with that coin the probability is still 50 50% but over a period of time agar tum 100 par usi coin ko coin toss karoge to shayad 50 baar head aayega 50 baar tell uh, aayega so maybe you will win 50% you will win uh, lose 50% right but if you keep changing the coin every time then then you are not playing the game correctly which are coming to back to intraday straddles i mean on a serious note after this uh, complete margin was removed so don't you think that returns will be far lesser or is it like because of the 1% risk it will be like similar no so that's like i said right my when i know that i am reducing my risk appetite so i'll be conservative on my roi side as well because i know that i'm not going to make 30% 40% which is fine see at any given year right people get demotivated people see all these huge screenshots every day and they think you know this is the expectation right 10% nahi banaya to kya banaya right kuch strategy nahi hai but i don't want 10% on a on an intraday right if over a period of one year right and if i slowly increase my capital just imagine right i i mean on 4 lakh capital when i initially started trading in percentage terms i can take 5% risk but that in absolute terms that number is very less but if my account size grow to 1 lakh i cannot i mean mentally i will not be able to take that stop loss of 5% in absolute terms mujhe ko raat ko neend nahi aayegi right So, uh, so I'm okay with a low expectation. My return, is, I mean, last year, right? Uh, if I do a calculation, right? Because I started with 3.4 capital, then I gradually increased capital. Abhi jitna bhi mera capital size hai, I can increase my capital size, but somehow I'm not, you know, confident of increasing. मुझे लगता है कि नहीं इसी से मैं कितना आगे ले जा सकता हूँ. That is like I kind of challenge myself to see what I can. How, how much is the present capital on which you are doing your strategy? is very very less actually i mean compared to lot of other traders or even compared to my network right my capital is only 23 lakhs right now 
Okay. And you are profitable for last two years, but still you don't want to increase it as of now. No, I mean there are two ways to look at it, right? One is yes, I can because this loss whether I will be able to sleep. I mean there are a lot of ways people say ki, ha, you need to challenge yourself as a trader. You need to risk more. You need to manage with capital. भाई मेरे को चैलेंज नहीं करना है ना मेरे को ओलंपिक में सोना नहीं जीतना है आई जस्ट वांट टू ग्रो माय मनी इफ आई एम हैप्पी विद 20 परसेंट और 30 परसेंट विच इज स्टिल लाइक थ्री टाइम्स और फोर टाइम्स कंपेयर टू एफ डी रिटर्न आई एम हैप्पी तुम करो चैलेंज मुझे नहीं करना है राइट माइंड सेट इज डिफरेंट राइट आई मीन समबडी सेइंग समबडी कैन अफोर्ड टू बी मोर एग्रेसिव इफ दे आर इन देयर ट्वेंटीज और अर्ली थर्टीज Right, compared to them, my mindset will be a little different because I'm just forty. I'm not saying that a forty forty year guy cannot be more aggressive, but it's just it's just every person is different, right? As long as one is comfortable with his thought process and they're clear about what their goal is, मेरे को बीस लाख का एक करोड़ एक साल में नहीं बनेगा मुझे पता है, and I'm okay with it. मुझे जल्दी भी नहीं है because I lead a very good life. I have a very good salary. I mean, both of us are working. We make a very good living. So problem is not here. I don't need it. Yeah. So, uh, so basically, the the trend following intraday system that you had picked up initially, which gave you like thirty percent in October two thousand twenty, that you are still running. And apart from that, you are also running selling system, basically intraday straddle. Is that correct? Ah, uh, no. Actually, I stopped my trend following as of today. I stopped it a few weeks back. क्योंकि क्या हुआ ना बिकॉज ऑफ दिस मार्जिन थिंग बिकॉज नाउ आई एम समाउ मोर कॉन्फिडेंट ऑन द सेलिंग साइड इट्स अ चेंज इन साइकोलॉजी और वट एवर एंड बिकॉज ऑफ द मार्जिन रिक्वायरमेंट एंड क्योंकि आई एम मोर कॉन्फिडेंट ऑन द सेलिंग साइड तो आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू पुट टू मच कैपिटल ऑन द ट्रेंड फॉलोइंग तो उसको मैंने क्या किया उसको आई कन्वर्टेड इट टू अ बाइंग सिस्टम आई मीन आई कन्वर्टेड इट टू अ बाइंग सिस्टम लाइक टू थ्री मंथ्स बैक सो पहले बाइंग सिस्टम बाइंग सिस्टम मतलब पहले जैसे आई यूज टू ट्रेड फ्यूचर्स देन आई चेंज इट टू सिंथेटिक जहाँ पे मैं आई यूज टू बाई कॉल्स एंड सेल पुट्स लॉन्ग साइड पे एंड शॉर्ट साइड पे उल्टा एंड नाउ लास्टली मैंने क्या कहता है जस्ट बाइंग राइट सो इफ आई एम गोइंग लॉन्ग आई एम बाइंग कॉल्स इफ आई एम गोइंग शॉर्ट आई एम बाइंग पुट्स राइट Okay. So वो कर दिया था बट लाइक आई सेड राइट विथ ट्रेंड फॉलोइंग इफ यूर इफ योर एंट्री बेसिकली योर एंटायर टाइमिंग ऑफ एंट्री एंड एग्जिट एंड वेन यू आर एंट्रिंग द मोमेंटम हैज टू बी ऑन योर साइड इफ दो ऑल दो थिंग्स आर नॉट मैरिंग अप टूगेदर देन बाइंग इज अ वेरी डिफिकल्ट वे टू मेक मनी राइट देर आर सम गुड वेरी गुड ट्रेडर्स हु आर making lot of returns over a period of time with buying but with my system right i already told you my average point was pretty less and over time noticing ki uh, uh synthetic future pay i was making money but with buying system although nifty has i mean from a entry point if i'm taking an exit at 350 because i don't have a trailing mechanism in my trend following system so what is happening is uh, ye nahi mil raha hai right because all the nifty is like 10 or 20 point up when i'm exiting but i let's say about the call at 100 rupees and i am not taking trailing and i'm not taking an early exit i'm waiting all the way till 315 to nifty came i mean the premium came down to 90 so basically i'm losing money so right now i have stopped that so, so what was your experience like before you stopped that If you just plot it in percentage terms, you ran it around eighteen months, right? If I'm not wrong. So, mm-hmm. what was your uh, feedback on the um, option buying or the synthetic combined together? How in percentage terms, how much you got? Or like I said, with the with the when I was doing synthetic future, right? On with leverage, I made almost hundred percent, and even after that, I made very good return. Is overall, it's in drawdown right now from the highest point. but uh, i meant very good money with the trend following system but somehow i mean i don't know how and when it exactly happened wo but ek time wo dimag pe agar baith jaye na the conviction goes away right 
and mm. if you are not confident that you want to run mm. that system mm. then you cannot you cannot then then it does not make much sense to run that system because if you so in spite of it being hugely profitable you decided to you know hold it for some time and you decided to go to uh, selling system because uh, on day to day it was giving huge time drawdown and money drawdown correct correct yeah did you like madan kumar also did option buying for a long time so did you like follow his uh, because he was i'm sure he was doing some kind of trading and also that didn't prompt you to modify your system or make no, i'm working i'm working on modifying my system but it's a work in progress so i'm not running it okay. right as of now so right now you are only uh, uh, you know uh, running a variation of 920 straddle variation of 920 920 and risk cousin yeah that's why you have so much of love and hate with 920 <laughs> but like i said <laughs> i don't run 920 but yeah so now coming back to yeah and, and, and like i'll call it 920 because you know that that's like gets more traction on twitter so coming back to the so what was your experience how many months you are running it and what is the maximum drawdown maximum gain what are the do's and don'ts briefly you can tell us uh, i've been uh, i've changed few of the times i mean the entries and other things and trailing introduced some tra- uh, trailings as well so i'm running it since april and there's one guy who had the biggest influence on me to run this straddle and who convinced me you know running straddle over a period of time will be profitable i mean everybody knows him i see him on this space mr jitan rajan so he's the guy who uh, convinced me yeah yeah jitan sir is a real uh, he, he, he in risk management nobody beats him basically nobody beats him and when you speak to him right i mean maybe lot of people will say the same thing but he will throw an example jo aapke dimag pe baith jayega yeah so insights basically i mean uh, everybody can tell you where to entry where, where to do exit but the real insights like you know uh, things like uh, for example uh, not to risk more than 1% or 2% on a selling system in a given day that kind of insight a lot of people get after years and years of working yeah we we so this is what i was telling you on in the very beginning right a lot of people say it takes years to be profitable in the market but i mean from my experience i don't think that is the case if you know what you are doing and if you have a, a inquisitive mind and if you understand data right if you i mean i'm not saying just because i'm an engineer but anybody from any profession or from any educational background if they understand what they're doing you know without just falling prey to greed and fear right they should be able to make money from the market in the long run yeah of course uh, you know sharing the exact strategy on twitter space is ne- next to impossible but if any new guy who is curious about 920 or uh, any kind of intraday straddle what are the like two three do's and don'ts you want to give a point to uh, him to do to to be profitable from first month or first quarter itself see the first thing i will tell anybody right don't focus on the strategy focus on how much capital you have right what's your psychology how much you are ready to lose on a day to day basis and for example uh, if your capital is 10 lakhs right and if you are ready to lose 1% right so kitna hota hai 1000 hota hai right so it will take lot of days uh, maybe few months for you to lose your entire capital and at one point in time the law of average will law of large number will catch up and you will make some money right so forget about entry at what time you are taking entry what percentage stop loss you are putting just focus on the risk part and money management part that is the entire game i mean this is i mean people can disagree right but mera understanding yahi hai ki if you are planning to trade for a long long time understand your risk appetite understand how much reward you want and based on that build a strategy everybody's mindset is different and your that will drive your entire thing basically strategy will not give you success unless you are 100% convinced and actually it's you right who is trading it's not the strategy it's not an automated system it's your emotion your thought process that you are putting together 
कन्विंस्ड कि हाँ ये मैं नेक्स्ट पांच साल तक चला सकता हूँ एंड आई कैन इंक्रीज माई कैपिटल स्लोली ऑन दिस तो यू विल बी बाउंड टू गेट सक्सेस इन द स्टॉक मार्केट डिस्कशन विदॉट ने who has attended madan's training and i asked him do you think it will be a good idea for me to attend madan's seminar he said bro when i attended i was a very amateur trader i did not know anything about market so for me it was very beneficial but tumne itna trading kar liya hai i don't think it will make much sense for you to join sessions so i took his advice so i never attended any any seminars and webinars were served and uh, you are still uh, firing your orders through uh, tradetron or you are doing on your own now no no uh, i got my you know uh, trading system built by one guy i i i can hear bottles clicking are, are you like drinking right now i am drinking water buddy ah, <laughs> just okay. water yeah, i am also drinking water <laughs> so uh, So yeah, so you you how did you de- disassociate from Tretron and why? So before disassociating with Tretron, I started working with this guy on the background. I uh, shared the system, not exact system, because he said that he can parameterize a lot of things. So I asked him, okay, these are the things that I want you to parameterize, and he gave me a software which comes with a UI. From that UI, you just need to log in, then. and the strategy is already saved in an xml you just need to load that xml and start the software every day which software we are talking about oh uh, so basically there is one guy uh, rishi rishi ajmera okay so yeah. he has a company yeah. okay okay i got his reference from somebody so then i got connected with him Okay. But he's a, he's a very. I mean, I don't. I mean, I'm no way related to him. But uh, he's a genuine guy, and uh, I mean, there will always be glitches whenever you build software. But he provides ample support, right? If there are software-related issues during during the trading hours, uh, his team provide enough support. So basically, so, you had a backtested strategy. You you uh, you you are running it on on a server right now. AWS. AWS पे रन कर दिया एंड सुबह जो भी टोकन वगैरह कर दिया एंड इट रन एंड ग्लिचेस आएगा तो ऋषि विल टेक केयर ऑफ इट एज ऑन टुडे एज वेल हां हां दे दो दे सपोर्ट टीम इज वेरी एक्टिव ओवर व्हाट्सएप तो सो बेसिकली यू डोंट नीड टू वरी अबाउट इट ऑन ऑन ड्यूरिंग योर ऑफिस आवर्स ही विल टेक केयर ऑफ इट एंड ऑल दैट राइट नो नो एंड राइट नो नो ही विल नॉट टेक केयर ही विल ओनली टेक केयर इफ आई रिपोर्ट इट बट सी व्हेनेवर यू आर रनिंग ऑन सिस्टम ले हम लोग आईटी में काम करते हैं सो देर आर लॉट ऑफ सिस्टम्स एंड जॉब्स व्हिच आर रनिंग इन प्रोडक्शन व्हिच नीड्स मॉनिटरिंग राइट सम मॉनिटरिंग इज रिक्वायर्ड राइट तो मॉनिटर तो मैं करता हूं ऑल दो देयर इज टेलीग्राम सेटअप एंड एवरीथिंग तो टेलीग्राम पे कुछ मैसेज आता है तो सडनली आई लॉग इनटू द वर्चुअल मशीन टू सी इफ द ट्रेड इज रनिंग प्रॉपर्ली और नॉट सो ओके एंड सो बेसिकली एज ऑफ नाउ यू आर डूइंग ओनली दिस intraday option selling only and it is giving you around 3 4% per month yeah roughly 3 4% i am making on average some some month i make less some month i make more but overall yeah 4% after cost is what i am making yeah okay that's very nice yeah so we like what what are the future plans after this future plans uh, i am already married और तो शादी करने का प्लान नहीं है प्लानिंग किड्स Inside the society and socialize with his friends in the evening. 
Yeah, my That's... sister also stays in uh, Hyderabad and uh, my my bhanja uh, you know now 6 plus so he used to say ki that you know mujhe bahut akela pan lagta hai sabke to ek ek bhai behan hai mera koi nahi hai mujhse koi baat nahi karta so finally i lost your voice am i audible or is just my connection so uh, so huh. yeah i was saying so he he used to say that you know mera koi bhi dost nahi hai mere se koi baat nahi karta sab log apne bhai behan ke sath khelte hai because corona also happened right you can't go out of your house right so finally they mm-hmm. succumb to the pressure and after a lot of effort like now he has a, a smaller sister now she'll be like 6 months old or 7 months old so yeah, it's never too late okay, okay, okay. in case you want a pointer <laughs> <laughs> okay i'll think about it yeah i mean think about it and so moving on uh, uh, like uh, so what what is the future plan when it comes to algo trading where do you see it going do you have plans to increase your capital because 3 4% per month like you don't generate in any other business if i was generating 3 4% probably i would have taken a 100 crore loan from the bank and i would have just you know uh, leveraged it but that is the problem right most of the people that you see here get lured by this high percentage mtm and they then think that you know making 10 20 30% a month is very easy and if somebody is making less than that then you know they are not worth it so yahi pe most of the people go wrong right 3 4% is huge right over a period of time if you are consistently making 3 4% every month right that's a that's a very productive way of compounding your money yeah i mean 10 15 years back people you were so so bullish on real estate everybody in delhi and in in any smaller city as well whenever i used to talk to them they were like so bullish on real estate right i you know that i didn't buy any real estate thankfully I mean, i was just lucky but uh, no but yeah but but, but Adam, i i am i made three real estate investments we'll we'll come to that we will come to that uh, I, unless you your plan uh, you know you have other plans for tonight so the thing is uh, there also best case scenario real estate gives you 15 20% right so much of stamp paper paper work go select the house and all that you get 15 20% any other business sme and all you get 15 20% if if someone is getting 3% per annum he should be very happy right that's my practical understanding absolutely absolutely no but that is what the impression that the people get right that making 3 4% is nothing right ye matlab koi 3 4% bana raha hai to usko kuch nahi aata hai but then nitin comes and trolls everybody saying only 1% of the traders are profitable over 3 years right so that sums up the entire story but again i mean on a on a population of 1.3 billion right and let's assume that uh, 5 crore people have uh, trading account even 1% of that is is a huge number right so that's a yeah, very positive yeah. case right and if only 1% are in any any profession also right any any profession right you will see that there are people one or two percent of the people who are climbing up the ladder very quickly in their professional life and rest of them are still struggling at a lower grade or lower designation so same with trading yeah i gave this example often that you know uh, guys who take uh, biology in class 11th everybody wants to be a doctor nobody wants to be a compounder or a pharmacist or you know uh, some kind of medical representative nobody wants that right everybody wants to be a doctor from that population someone taking biology how many of those become uh ms or md doctor who will write dolo 65 650 to you like it's less than 1% that, it's that less, reminds, less than 1% that yeah. reminds me of a funny story right so hamare time pe so there's a west bengal there's a joint entrance exam right now there is this all india entrance but back in our time there was a, a state specific joint entrance exam right so i said i went to buy that form and i was like papa i want to only apply for engineering um, i mean biology never interested me so i don't want to apply for medical but then the shopkeeper who was selling the form he was saying only engineering is 200 rupees and 
to if you buy both the form is only 250 rupees so my father joking me said 50 rupees ke liye to doctor nahi banega <laughs> yeah and same thing is happening i, mean, I went uh, to my village to attend a marriage and every second young guy from from 15 from 15 to uh, 30 35 in that age group everybody has zerodhar app on their mobile and uh, they they are doing bank nifty it hard to believe i'm you'll not believe unless you meet my villagers i mean i'm telling you no so that's good right so digital india is actually happening back in our days very few or limited people were had this kind of knowledge or had you know i don't know about you anand i know that you started trading from a very young age i was listening you in one of the space but uh, during our time very few guys will actually get into trading at a young age or just after just after joining a job right yeah most of the people whom i know if they were very passionate about trading and they had to do any kind of intraday trading or any kind of trading which required live data they had to go to either a sub broker's office or broker's office there they had sitting arrangements for bigger clients who were like losing big money on a daily basis you go sit there and you'll have a ticker or you know you'll get suggestion tips live tips because even cell phones were not there it's hard to imagine for people who are like doing it now on their cell phone yeah so i mean all thanks to technology right so i mean even people in remote villages are now trading cryptos right yeah i mean coming to crypto you were like uh, one and a half years back we were talking and you were into ethereum and even old coins as well so you, you like what prompted you to get in and what prompted you to go out no so this is something that i got into when i was in us uh, back in 2017 i did not put a lot of money uh, i put around uh, in absolute terms around 6000 or 7000 dollar so how much in uh, rupees maybe 4 or 5 lakhs but when i bought it was the absolute high and after that market started crashing i mean market went up for some time and i was like you know this is my time i should you know buy and hold ho deal that's how they call it Right. and i was like okay why do so they call it hodl no somebody misspelled hold as hodl in twitter long back and then it started trending and then everybody started saying hodl instead of hold you you did it in 2017 right uh yeah early 2017 did did someone uh, approach you for those those crypto rig scam where you had to put it money to run a rig yeah there were there was one scheme which i never invested in uh, i forgot the name of that platform but one of my friend invested and he was getting good return every month but after few months the company itself shut down and there was a big scam around them and he lost around 10 20k dollar that was like a crypto a rig scam where yeah, they yeah. tell tell you that yeah, i am mining crypto and for mining crypto i am running this server that this is the electricity charges this is the invoice and you keep on generating new crypto and you keep on getting monthly payments correct 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 the crypto rig and then suddenly the moon and vanishes the, the principal it's, itself goes away right that's what happened to one of my friend and he used to tell me every day see if i put only 20000 20k and every month i am making 1000 from it is a great platform you should invest and i was very reluctant i mean i never doubted what he said but i was very reluctant because i was i mean it's like you know whenever something is too good to be true right so that was the case but he actually made so he was on that platform for almost 10 months and he got 10k and then he got robbed of his entire principal 20k so for him here, like here I, i would say sometimes you no know, the understanding of life saves you from a lot of bad decisions uh, i don't know crypto yet and i have not studied about it that is the only market i have never ever traded i mean i am very keen to trade and that is one of my regrets but uh, knowing life you know uh, i know those mway and uh, those uh, uh, herbal life those kind of days i'm not saying it is bad or good but but i have seen it from close quarters okay so uh, the, there was a, a school friend of mine okay and he is a gynecologist in army okay a, a doctor in army and then he contacted me through linkedin he took my phone number and then in the very first call he gave me one hour 
uh, summary of crypto mining and he said you can double your money in 3 months so imagine a gynecologist in army he telling me that uh, you know you'll double your money in 3 months so two understandings of life and i'm not bragging myself but this was exact thought process which was there that somebody calls you after 20 years and first thing he talks about is crypto so it's more than an investment it's like a ponzi right they want to onboard you and second thing like i have never seen anything in real life which goes double in 3 months so it's like something doesn't pass the sanity check some something doesn't pass the smell test so then i i i backed off and later on unfortunately as it happens in ponzi scheme you know, the lower leg guys also lose money so that doctor also lost his lot of life savings because he was also invested in that that's how i remember the scam yeah i mean it's like you know back in our uh, dad's time right there used to be lot of local cheat funds right so now there yeah. are no cheat funds but all these kind of scams are there yeah backbone of this scam is greed basically yeah i mean just i mean when anything that sounds too good to be true it start doubting it right even i learned about bitcoin long long back like first time i heard about it is in 2004 but i was always very skeptical what is this i mean what ex- i mean i did lot of study but finally when it actually boomed and it become you know mainstream in 2017 i got onboarded i got onboarded quite early and then i ride the entire boom till 2018 and i thought at what point in time you know it's going to only shoot up and up and up and then i'm going to you know with this money i'm going to buy an island or something <laughs> but then after 2000 i started tanking and then it was it was in a red for a long long time eventually again in last year it started booming yeah So why do you exit it now? You don't see any future of crypto right now. I mean, you invested small amount. Drain it, then. Bachchon ke kaam aata. No, then I thought I'll took an exit because I waited too long on crypto on red, and then I saw okay, I'm almost at like sixty, seventy percent profit. So why don't take an exit? And then so that was a long term exit, and then there was this uh, Dodge coin that Elon Musk was pumping every other day on Twitter. like uh, during the uh, during a uh, what do you call it second wave last year yeah last year second wave jab chal raha tha covid ka right so then again i thought okay let's take an entry and i was it was going down and i was there was lot of noise around you know elon musk is going to pump it again so i invested a very very small amount and then within 15 days i doubled it actually <laughs> and then again i took an exit So I mean th- wow. these these things I just do for fun. I'm not serious about crypto anymore, but I'm more serious about trading right now. And but so many big people like Elon Musk, hai, Twitter ka Jack, hai, ya Naval, hai, ya so every big guy, every big hedge fund is like uh, into crypto, right? Even Paul Tudor Jones and all that. So I think you know uh, one should have like three to five percent of the net worth into it. Forget about it. If it goes to zero, then it goes to zero. Otherwise, you are riding the trend of these nerds who have done enough study and more than money. Their their reputation is on the line. If tomorrow Bitcoin goes to zero, like how these people will come on social media? I mean, I don't imagine, right? So, I mean, I have not invested, but probably if it comes down, I'll, I'll do like four five percent, and then uh, I'll keep it in a cold wallet. I think I discussed with you once. Not on the exchange, right, right, on the right. cold, cold wallet. The, on the cold, uh, cold yeah, wallet. Yeah, and forget about it. Hopefully, not forget like forever. I mean, there is a British guy who forgot about it on a hard disk, and that hard disk went to uh, landfill, and they are planning to dug out, dig out the land, landfill. So not like that, but forget about it for ten, twenty years. If it goes to zero, then zero, like five percent. So what is it, right? Yeah. Or if it goes to the moon, then probably you will have better champagne to drink. No, but but the thing is, Anand, I think. the kind of return crypto generated from 2000 i mean all the way from is beginning till 2020 i don't think we are going to see that kind of return anymore now there's so much investor and big fund money has come into crypto i think crypto market will also stabilize it will still be volatile compared to what equity market is but it will i don't think crypto will generate you know 1000 5000 10000 percent of return any more unless there is some pump and dump scheme going on around some of the lesser known cryptos yeah i mean yeah you, you might be right right i mean 
it's dif- difficult to say it can go to zero as well but definitely it it is going to be very volatile next 10 years yeah sometimes i mean i i don't see the intrinsic value i mean i invested in crypto i made some profit from crypto i don't see a proper use are intrinsic case. value to bahut hai sir intrinsic value ye hai ki you know uh, the entire world revolves on hot money okay and there is so much of restriction on hot money i mean if you want to transfer 10 million dollar from here to seattle right you can't do it you'll have to do endless paperwork and if you are a retail guy you'll be dead by the time rbi approves your paperwork and the lrs scheme only 250000 dollars is allowed right to for per person per year right and similar restrictions are there in many countries so you talk about tax evasion you talk about cross country trade yeah you you talk talk about even fraud ev- evasion i was telling some someone that the kind of banking frauds which happen uh, through normal channels through swift it's unimaginable so i mean it will have the, that kind of uh, the, the smooth transfer the the risk free transfer the what do you what do you call uh, chargeless transfer that is where it, it has a future and the biggest thing is it is beneficial to the mafia it is beneficial to the black money guys it is beneficial to politicians right so it's it's not going to die it's like a cancer which is beneficial so i i i don't think it ha- it has a very big utility not for the uh, yeah, you know uh, blue class workers things, right intrinsic value and utility are two different things so but intrinsic see, value this, is derived this, from this how it is useful value. to you right I mean, so I will pay for something. Uh, Sorry for cutting you. So this transfer value, right? So only one crypto or two or three major crypto solves this problem. But there only one will survive. In any kind of tech game, only the winner takes it all. There are no second places. Even if you talk about Amazon, right? Who are the number two, number three consistently in US or in European market, right? Winner takes it all in tech. Google, who is the number two search engine? Microsoft tried tried with Bing. I don't think uh, anybody else uh, even Khoj tha. Kitna tha? We used to have like so many search engines, uh, Khoj, Yahoo. In, in tech, oh, only the winner takes it all. There is no second. So there will be only one. I am not saying BTC will be there, right? You remember the Napster days? When that music was happening, right, 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 right. there also only one survived. But it changed the way music was uh, shaped and the music uh, was bought and sold forever. So that this new technology will change the, how the money uh, changes hand. forever whether btc will survive or not whether ethereum will survive or not or whether all top 10 will survive i really doubt that so i'm not saying btc is or maybe all of them will survive but i'm talking about crypto currency as a technology as a medium of exchange as a medium of valuation so the biggest i mean you you are earning so much of money on mm-hmm. on the, on uh, uh, this uh, stock uh, stock uh, trading right stock trading bank nifty trading right if you are somehow able to save taxes it is a big outflow right whatever you are paying in taxes so imagine guys who are doing cross border transfer cross border trades if they are able to evade taxes i am not going getting into morality of it and how the government is going to counter it and so on that fight is going to continue till cow comes home but it's a big utility for them for the user right but anand tell me one thing you are from the banking industry so maybe you have more knowledge I see. When I'm trans, okay, transfer is a utility, right? Using blockchain, mm. I can transfer money from here to US or any parts around the world. But eventually, right? You need to translate that crypto or crypto whatever crypto coin you are using into dollar or some other currency. But the moment you realize that, you need to deposit yeah. that into your bank. That, that's you called that, that, so that, so that, got it. Got it. See, that's called network effect. Okay, right now if I want to transfer, let's say uh, my son is studying in US and I want to pay fees for his education in US, so I will from rupees I will buy crypto and I will transfer crypto to let's say uh, Howard and then Howard will not take crypto, so I'll convert it to dollars and then I'll pay dollars. This is the arrangement right now as on today, right? But what if Howard starts taking crypto and it becomes first medium of exchange for Howard tomorrow? If I want to buy Tesla for my son. what if tesla says if you pay me in crypto i'll give you 5% discount first medium of exchange tomorrow if he wants to buy burger and mcdonald says okay bring crypto it is cheaper because i am not paying any transfer fees i deposits are easier and i can transfer to mcdonald netherland or mcdonald china pretty easy so i'll give you 2% discount what if and it will become first medium of exchange in many countries then this problem of transfer is solved right i am holding crypto in my anonymous account i will pay it to howard 
uh, in crypto when my son studies and gets a very good degree right so that is the answer which will come in future because of network effect when when everybody was using orkut and few people started with using facebook nobody liked it because nobody was there but sooner people started migrating and the network effect was like pretty fast now everybody wanted to be in facebook because their friends were on facebook so once everybody starts using crypto from your wallet for for uh, uh, drinking pina colada to paying fees to buying car to buying houses then everybody wants to keep money in crypto then everybody want to transact in crypto and it is cheaper to transact in crypto that's the answer to that question no i completely understand uh, anand what you are saying but see i don't think any government or any central bank around the world will give that power to a you know uh, open network i mean otherwise there will be no you, you think you, 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 you think uh, this uh, uh, music record label companies like sony and hmv all these companies they wanted napster to survive or uh, uh, sharing of music to survive or renting of music to survive they wanted to kill it right similarly uh, all these taxi unions the biggest union in in the world is like taxi union london taxi madilian or bombay taxi walas you think they wanted uber to survive but technology is like cancer when it starts spreading if if you don't cut it at a very very early stage you can't cut it back i mean uber fought till high court till, till uh, you know european supreme court and so on right and they ran it illegally in delhi you, know, you remember the delhi rape case with, which happened in europe uh, in, in in delhi rape case which happened in uber and then uh, delhi government banned the, the, this uh, uh, uber app and they started uh, arresting taxi walas who were running uber app the police walas used to call uber and jaise uber aayega tumko lene ke liye chali sab kahan jana they used to get arrested they wanted to arrest uber ka india head so they shifted the office to to gurgaon from delhi to gurgaon it was a big controversy i think in 2014 or something right but could they stop uber because the utility is so big for the end consumer right so i i i suppose government should have stopped it like 5 years back or maybe 7 years back all governments put together to, but all the center bankers are so so corrupt and they have their uh, neck deep into the corruption and the easiest way to to do corruption is crypto they are pro crypto i mean whatever they say right and it's bad for the country's tax collection any country's ta- tax collection but wo wo train nikal chuka hai abhi ki isko rok lena chahiye tha and you know moral argument wo train piche chhod gaya mere sab i mean i have limited knowledge but that's no, what that i think is true that is true even the sec official sec right who yeah. governs and create all these laws around cryptos they themselves are so corrupt i mean look look at this fed officials yaar abhi the pure scandal chal raha hai us mein jisme fed officials have been front running by or buying call options of various stocks when the monet, monetary easing was going to happen or it was happening right so they had the insider knowledge through which stock market was going to explode like anything and the, the investigation going on so top level pe sab corrupt hai and crypto is big time pro corruption anyways we digressed a lot <laughs> before people lose interest and sleep so coming back yeah. to a third thing which makes me very curious about you is you have invested in three houses in real estate right and your seattle investment was like super 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 good yesterday i was doing a spaces on uh, role of luck and all that so were you like simply lucky or like how you landed up with that uh, seattle ka real estate no see i just bought the house out of necessity because i i had no plans of moving back to india so i thought why don't why don't buy a house there right no i'll tell you my entire house buying uh, experience so first house i bought is back in 2008 or 9 that time i used to live in kolkata so i bought a house it was a small two bedroom 1000 square feet house you know modest house nothing expensive Mod- nothing. how much was the cost of this modest house house uh, very less uh, it was uh, house kind of exterior at that point in time exterior kolkata i mean kolkata was extending so i bought it for 20 20 lakhs okay so it's it's, a, it's from 2008 right so that was my first house so my parents are still living in that house and i mean right now the worth would be around uh, 50 so i got more than 100% and not realized but notional value that's the first investment i did the second investment i did uh, right after moving to us i bought a house in kolkata right another house this is in 2012 now that house i did not met any money i am actually in the process of selling that house right now i bought that house back in 2012 when the income tax 
in kolkata Kol- yeah. so anybody who is listening and who is interested in buying real estate in kolkata it's like right now it is the best time to buy i keep say, telling people that this is the best time to buy real estate so they can look at your house in kolkata right it was already sold actually i mean in the process oh. of selling so some paperwork okay, was okay. going on so that's why i'm in kolkata right now so i bought this house back in 2012 at the boom of the real estate market i bought it for 90 lakhs and i had plans of selling it right after moving back to india but then i was not getting the right price actually i was getting a price which is below my buy price but recently somebody offered me little over my you know break even price so i bought it for 19 now i'm getting 95 for that house but after brokerage and all it will be like break even only for me so i'll be getting after 10 years after 10 years but yeah during that period i had some rental income as well so that's a bonus that's an interest kind of a thing yeah even the rental income was not very high but the only good investment i did not buy it uh, as an investment but uh, it was a new house that i bought in seattle uh, i made a very i mean i stayed lived in that house only for one, one and a half years before i had to move back to india for visa reasons i made good money right i mean close to 50 little under 50 percent profit just imagine in one and a half years wow in absolute was it luck or like i mean it was in a very prime place the school district i mean in u.s school district is very important that decides the price of the house the school district was very highly rated so that that gave me a very good chunk uh, in absolute terms i made around 200k profit wow wow so tell me one thing you tried crypto you tried real estate you tried stocks as well and you know giving your money to somebody and then you are trading on your own as well uh, right now i believe your allocation to to stocks is still very very less around 20% of your net worth uh 20 no no it will be less than that it will be far yeah. far less so that. now that after like uh, doing everything and then realizing that stock gives you like 2 to 3% that to uh, a much stable return much liquid return real estate you can't sell just like that so why don't you like increase your allocation to to your stock portfolio see i i have lot of fds as well right and somehow my wife is not very supportive of trading right because she is also working and i have huge chunk of money that's in FT and plus she also does some investment through uh, ESPP on her employer account every month ESOPs and, hmm? sorry ESOPs. ESOPs ESOPs yeah ESOPs yeah every month yeah every month she invest some amount like the maximum amount that's allowed by the employer 15% of her basic so she does that it's so a Microsoft basically so, like, so, you 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 get to own your own money, or you you don't get to your own money as well. She decides. I get to. <laughs> sorry, first of all, I didn't get your question. It's a tricky question. Okay, we'll avoid it. So basically, my my like, I see it uh, this thing, uh, this pattern with a lot of people. They that they're pretty good at it in stock market, but their overall allocation to stocks and tra- trading or investment is just ten percent of the net worth. And that uh, erodes their wealth generating capacity overall. So I was always intrigued that why why not increase it to 50% or 60% or 70%? See, see what, uh, I'll tell you what, right? So initially I used to fight and I used to try to convince my wife, let's allocate more percentage. But over a period of time, I thought, you know, uh, I gave up on that thought. I stopped convincing her. And right now I take it as a challenge, you know, uh, because most of the household spend goes from my salary right? and her salary is completely you know, it goes, goes into FD then what happens in LIC which I don't believe in at all right? but you, 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 you are like right now you are explaining it to the rest of the world how trading is better and you know, so why, why can't you explain it to your wife she actually she one time she told me you know first you grow your capital to 5x then i'll be convinced so that's that's my goal right now let me let me make it 5x and then probably she'll be convinced and then i can grow my capital otherwise you know i'll have to 
add from my whatever savings I can make from my salary. So I like keep adding every month. So that's what I do. I buy some Nifty Vs every month and then pledge. But I hardly get to save too much from my salary, honestly speaking, because <clears throat> my expenses are pretty high. Yeah. My last question is that: uh, Do you have any plans to do money management in the future? Because you are running Elgo and a lot of people are doing that. Not really, not really, Anand. Because, uh, because when I opened the Triton account and I started subscription, I was not aware of all the legalities around it. Right now that I see so many, you know, threats on frauds and other things that comes up on Twitter every other day, I don't think I will ever manage anyone's anybody's money unless I am SEBI registered and I have no plans to be SEBI registered anytime soon. So I'm happy. In happy and content in my own way, managing my own money and whatever compounding I can do over a period of time. Okay, uh, we'll we'll throw it open for uh, for audience to ask questions. There is one question which I got, and I I think I have asked you as well, but I'm getting it on Twitter like a couple of times, so I'll ask you. Somebody is asking why did you leave Tretron? So Tretron, like I said, there were some execution glitches. Um, Mostly some error. They used to throw up some error, and they were not actual error. When I looked up into the broker side, and there were them some, <clears throat> there were some slippage issues as well. After a point in time, I was not too con- convinced, and I was not too comfortable taking those slippage on a trend following system. That's the entire reason. Even when I was started initially, I started running my selling system on Tetron as well. I saw huge slippage, right? Huge slippage and huge delay lag. And I was not pretty convinced after a point in time. Okay, so I'll now throw it open uh, for for audience to ask questions. Uh, anybody can ask a question. Please uh, ask for a mic. Let's do it quickly. Or is it too late and everybody wants to sleep? In the meantime, before anybody asks a question, like what, what which is your favorite drink? Oh, drinks! Yeah, that's the that's the topic we left, right? Not discussed. Yeah, yeah. So, mostly I'm a beer guy and single malt guy. So when it comes <laughs> to beer, I love Corona, right? I mean, I you, have, you love Corona. Oh yeah, any time of the day. You give me a bottle of Corona with a slice of lime, I'll be happy to drink it. And I'm a big, big fan of uh, single malt, right? And so far, my favorite has been Lafro. Mm-hmm. Uh, Never heard of it, actually. Flavor. Never heard of it. Smoky flavor that there, right? Once yeah, I it's a wood, wooden smoky flavor, Lafro. L-A- have, you tra- have you tried Amrit? I recently tried Amrit just uh, on 25th of December. Actually, there was a... My friend called me up in his house. And then I saw this bottle that they got, Amrit. So I tried that for the first time, and I was actually pleasantly surprised. I mean, it's really nice, and I mean, I never knew that there was a Indian single malt that even exists. And can, even, can you believe uh, it's like a uh, Bangalore-based brand? Oh yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I came to know about the history and geography of Amrut, and then last week I visited to one of my family. There also, I mean, my uncle had. Uh, Amrut. So I said, you know, <laughs> let's have Amrut only, right? No, no other brands because, I mean, it gives you a good feel as well, right? Being an Indian. Yeah, it's Indian difficult brand. to difficult to make out the difference between Amrit and any foreign-made uh, single malt. That you know, uh, if 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 you do a, bl- a blindfold, most of the guys uh, will get confused. Like it's that good, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, you can any day. I think it's one of the top ten ranked single malts based on some survey and I mean any given day you can hardly differentiate between a Glenlivet Levy or Amrut. I mean I wouldn't compare it with Glen Fittage, but yeah I mean it's as definitely as good as uh, Glen Levy. and its price is also it's not it's not cheap as well right? I think it's cost more 5K? than 5000 yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah like most of the foreign brands yeah but looking at your profile, like I always, Im- from your DP, I always imagine that you will be like a wine and a cigar kind of a guy. Uh, wine, no, actually. I mean, I'm, I drink wine, but especially 
if you walk into a US liquor store and you will there'll be so many choices of wines and you know you'll get lost right then i will end up going to the guy and ask him hey which one test the best <laughs> i'm let's say i'll go okay which is the most best red wine in in this 25 or 30 dollar range right so whatever he will suggest i'll just pick that up and go and i will only buy wine when i have to give it to gift it to somebody and when i'm going to somebody's house over the weekend i have to buy a wine so that's the only time i buy a wine otherwise i'm a single malt guy yeah and what about cigar uh, i <laughs> tried cigar a couple of times but uh, again <laughs> not a big fan okay what okay. about you i mean do you smoke cigar I, mean, i i i like cigar yeah i mean but uh, yeah I mean, but I, i i don't smoke at all okay like not not the cigarette or cigar like i mean i am a huge fan of joints so okay i had very bad experience with joints like i tried that couple of times during my college days maybe you didn't get a right mentor or a right guru or guru no no i mean because mixing is very important you it does not no no yes, i had he, like you should really, contact favilo by the way he's laughing a lot i think he's like pro level he's like six sigma black belt in <laughs> making a joint no no i had right, like mahadev type mahadev kind of five rated guys in my college who were like who have done phd's in making joints but i, I mean i tried it couple of times but i had very bad experience then i stopped trying because you know i, I mean when you are drinking uh, drinking right at least you have control and if you are overly drunk then you can just throw up and uh, you can have a good sleep morning you will be waking up fresh but that does not happen with uh, joints right it stays with you. you you don't have much control what you are what you are describing is like you know taking bhang have you tried bhang bhang i mean bhang, bhang <laughs> yeah, during holy is right you make that uh, Bhang is that this it thing. stays with you kind of a thing that happens with bhang basically it stays with you for 2 to 3 days if you overdose it pata nahi ya joint ke sath bhi mera experience kafi kharab bhi tha i mean they yeah. i mean my roommate yeah. had to lock me up in the room because uh, ek time pe wo jo uh, hotel ka jo hotel nahi sorry hostel ka jo warden hota na so they come for taking attendance whether everybody is in the room or not to mera situation aisa tha so they locked me up in the room and switched off the light and they went to a different room taki jab warden aaye lage ki is room pe koi nahi hai i mean it's better that this guy is not in the room than the warden actually seeing me in that condition yeah vanchika is laughing a lot so she must be having some expertise on bhang okay uh, i will uh, throw the uh, forum open for questions you can ask anything which he has discussed don't ask about what exact strategy is or kal bank nifty kidhar khulega please ask relevant questions request to all of you yeah go ahead please uh, uh, can i go anand bhai yeah please hello yeah first of all i i don't smoke joints and uh, so um bhai i have tweeted a pic for you uh, lakwag is one of my favorites and i have been having it recently so that's going on right now uh, coming to the question part uh this is to both anand bhai and uh, som bhai i am uh, so i am more into equ- equities in the sense long term equities we build a portfolio and never go- done trading um especially after this guy is uh, uh, zero dollars ceo's guy, uh, tweet that only 1% are profitable uh, is trading profitable in long term and i'm seriously asking because there is a lot of you know there's a lot of noise around it like all screen shot and so i wanted an honest opinion is trading profitable in the long run see I'll, my honest answer would be after then after that i will let anand reply anand has been on the market for a longer longer time and he has more knowledge than me so i have been actively trading for two years and nitin the data that he published he published that you know, over a period of three years not more than 1% of the traders are profitable so maybe i also don't fall in that 1% because i have not been actively trading for more than 3 years but in my 2 years experience like i said that if you have the right mind and if you know your bet size and you manage your risk properly and you play the same bet every day the law of large number will play out eventually in your favor anand you want to answer 
यार इट इज डेफिनेटली प्रॉफिटेबल I'm 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 telling telling you, and not 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 as a lie or I'm not selling anything as yet. Not that selling is bad, but it's definitely profitable. But if someone thinks that he can do it in the lunch break, answer is no. Lot of Jiroda accounts, the Demet accounts, the mobile phones. I mean, that's why I have taken you through the entire journey of uh, Mr. Soham. He started with a tip service where he lost seven lakh rupees. What he was doing, the tip comes and he will punch the trade. It doesn't work like that. If you put in like seven to ten hours every day, if you whatever like fundamental or technical, there are so many things. Whatever one particular thing you pick up and you become very obsessive about it, it is definitely definitely profitable, and it is more profitable than any other business. It has more ROI than any other job. In our jobs, we give ten to twelve hours. We have so much of pressure. If you can recreate, because you hear your own, you you are your own boss. You are your own risk manager as well. If you can recreate that. Definitely, it is profitable. It is hundred percent profitable. I mean, I get lot of flag for it. I have written a thread also, which nobody read, but uh, it is definitely an area worth exploring. Lot of doctors are exploring. Lot of IAS officers are exploring. Engineers, so anyways, they they are good for nothing, so they are exploring it. Lot of CAs, rankers are exploring it. So yeah, definitely, one should explore it for two three years. See if it works for you or not. A large population of of segment is genetically wired for gambling. okay they are they are like uh, more prone to gambling and gambling addiction so once you you know that you are falling into that category then you should hold yourself back knowing yourself as soham also said couple of times is very important but definitely everybody should explore it yeah okay okay thank you thank you for that answer. okay we'll quickly go to the next question anand sir yeah go ahead go ahead anybody yeah L- let's say you have a fully mechanical modem or a, like a system so what happens is in indexes you either have bank nifty or bank nifty let's say i'm someone uh, like uh, i'm new because i'm uh, totally into cash i have a certain set of watch list and on a given day the same system it comes in let's say two or three stocks and the order flow is completely random so on that case i'm very confused that which trade do i go in so um you would like to answer you- no i just want to ask a follow up question so when you are preparing that watch list you must have a mechanism of prioritizing the watch list right let's say there are three four parameters i mean i don't know what exactly is your system how you are preparing the watch list but there must be some par- parameters on the basis of which you are filtering the watch list and when you are doing that you should have a prioritization mechanism as well the want to you should be able to rank them okay this is my first priority so if any signals come i'll be trading this instrument first other than the priority 2 or 3 do you have any prioritization mechanism uh, sir actually yeah what here happens is like uh, maybe sometimes is the risk reward that let's say the entry is uh, for certain uh, for certain stock the next uh, level of resistance is 2r and for another trade it is 3r so in that case what happens is in that case what happens is i go for the 3r the one you know which has a more no but when you say 3r yeah. what is your risk in the first trade and what is your risk in the second trade yeah uh, it's the same sir the upside is different the downside is same okay then it, uh, i mean in layman's term i think it always makes sense to go for the 3r reward and okay but and that 3r you... reward is imaginary right something which is not realized exactly and the, that's what i wanted to say uh, this thing uh, mainly happened during the this one i guess uh, august september when uh, all the it sector was booming and they were at an all time high and on a given day i get my entry in techm as well as infi on the same time that to let's say 10:45 10:45 even if i filter the timing both the setups come at 10:45 and due to all time high i don't know what the next point of resistance is going to be like do you think like adding open interest or seeing at put writers i don't know like what should be added into this yeah anand you want to answer because i anyway don't trade equity anand you are on mute yeah brother you, your question is very specific the system you are following and it's very difficult to give a summary answer in a spaces 
and he is not uh, trading equities at all and you should not uh, a point i am trying to highlight for everyone here is you should not seek a summary answer for a system that you are running because it is too dangerous we, whatever we give will will not fit in right yeah exactly. the intuitive understanding doesn't hold when you do a back test of the data right so you get what i'm saying right yeah yeah and even i mean firstly i did not understand i mean both of us did not understand your question correctly and even if we understood it will be very wrong for us to suggest something without okay. understanding what you are doing how you are doing right yeah pavan go ahead yeah hi kanjana my question mainly to soham so like i love to code okay so whenever i see somebody posting any strategy on twitter i go and and do the back test i have 10 years of data i never find any strategy which is more accurate than even 60% so how do you select like say apart from strategy strangle i mean the option strategy are good if you do the back test but any other strategy like you i saw some discussion where you asked orb correct so did you uh, check that how good this orb strategy are like opening wide breakout no see firstly uh, i heard one thing that you mentioned that 60% i think when you say 60% you are actually referring to the <coughs> win rate win rate win rate yeah, yeah, win rate so win rate win rate in singularity does not define a system right there are so many other things that you need to consider when you yeah. when you actually decide whether it's a good system or bad system right again yeah, there yeah, is I'm nothing sure. good system or bad system is all based mm-hmm. on the data that we are back testing mm-hmm. now this is a combination of lot of things one is win ratio right mm-hmm. one is expectancy drawdown mm-hmm. average win average loss and how many time drawdown and then there's some other ratios as well right that you need to look at over a period of time so all together if that suits your psychology what is the risk what is the reward then only it makes sense to go live with the strategy and even when you are going live just go small see how the live performance is for a certain time before you increase your position sizing yeah and, and uh, the follow up question yeah Oh, you got. Oh, you you send me a DM. You are saying that you you do a lot of back tests and you have not found anything. So probably I'll discuss a couple of strategies no, with no, you. No, no, sir. You your send me DM. I, I for your strategy like the uh, I just said. So if I do the proper position sizing, like one is to two ratio, or uh, fail with the dumping channel. No, no. अरे ये पहला तो ये one is to two ratio करने का ही नहीं. If you are doing not doing straddle and standal, and if you are doing uh, trend following. then you cannot book your profit at once to two you have to let it run through some mechanism and probably i'll do a space strategy 916 abhi wo bhi famous ho gaya kya wo 920 ke baad i was told for 920 yeah yeah and and i have follow up question sorry sir ha bolo na so 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 hum another question is that like when i run like i also run some variant of stardal and uh, in last one one and a half year like monday is not more like it's not profitable but since it's automated i don't stop that so do you think that the stopping that is useful like again it's a lot of work correct go and have, in my case i have to go manually stop it so i just let it run so what is your suggestion on that again i mean if you just ask me i don't believe in just running a running or not running a strategy on a given day i mean for expiry day you you can have a different strategy but mm-hmm. just on the basis of whether it's a monday or tuesday matlab shani ware to nahi chalayenge ha kya bolte hain fir amavasya hai to nahi chalayenge to aisa to i mean i don't believe in no but ultimately slice and dice karna padta na how will improve correct in future like but on the basis of what you are slicing and dicing if you are slicing and dicing and your decision making is on the basis of 10 years data set okay go no, ahead but if you are just deciding on the basis of random 2 year data from stock mock right i don't think on the basis of 2 year data which is like no, how no, many no, no. these are like days. real data so hum so i download the transactions i prepare a okay uh, and i see that What? I have a completely different different Achai, answer to it. To <laughs> I have a completely different answer to it. Okay, uh, you you are talking about intraday straddle 
right whether you should do it on monday right that is a question right okay yeah. see and see it's not uh, for me, monday ha listen listen I, i did a webinar by the way that's two hour webinar very few people have watched it you should okay. definitely watch it i mean because it is my webinar so i'm promoting it here so uh, the thing is when you are doing option selling when you are doing short gamma strategies when you are selling option okay the reward is limited and the risk is unlimited theoretically okay in a short span of 2 years we have three four major instances including one instance where exchange itself was down and it was po- opened after 330 and then lot of accounts went to into haywire okay mm-hmm. that's called operational risk that's called systemic risk okay for an option buyer the risk is limited to the option that he has bought for a seller the risk is anything if you have sold a 15 rupees option theoretically it, it can open to 15000 rupees as well let's say some political figure gets assassinated okay S- tsunami is there in, in i think 2011 or 12 japan had 7.3 uh, richter scale tsunami entire cities were devastated and a uh, entire nuclear plant got you know ruptured i don't know how many of you know so lot of shit is going to happen in the stock market in the future okay and some of the shit uh, statistically speaking probability wise speaking will happen on a monday some tuesday some wednesday some thursday okay if you are let's say for example i don't trade uh, 920 or any variation of it on friday and on monday and i've told it on the webinar so what happens is that on those two days if any global event happens because i am not into the trade i am protected by by law of probability itself right my chances of ruin mm-hmm. i have ruined because of external circumstances a political leader getting assassinated or pakistan suddenly attacking on a border right Do, so i have protected myself by 2 by 5 by not trading on those days so my theory is if somehow you are make convinced that i will not trade on these days and friday is for example marginally profitable when i i saw it right monday is profitable right and, and i'm i'm telling you about a one particular variation of the strategy but if i'm not doing on friday or uh, or monday and still not compromising on on my results in percentage terms that's i'm saving myself 2 by 5 from a big systemic risk from broker risk from operational risk from exchange risk right are you getting it if if yeah, yeah. tomorrow 920 stadel you enter full vol- full volume 3 crore rupees or whatever is your net worth you all go all in and suddenly on one particular border pakistan attacks not unimaginable or china attacks you think your stop loss will be honored that day St- the exchange will go limit down within 15 minutes and it will open the next day only right so all your 3% per month 3% per month and i'm not saying it can't happen on thursday it can't happen on wednesday i'm not saying that what i'm saying is when you're not trading on two days you are reducing your chances of ruin by 2 by 5 do you agree on that yeah that that point i agree sir what okay first point second point listen have... se- second point second point when you are doing any intraday selling okay especially this straddle or strangle the if, if you do uh, any test on mock uh, stock mock the biggest pinch is your slippage and your charges so when you when i don't and i have discussed all this in the webinar when you don't trade on a friday or on a monday you are reducing your total number of trades by a huge margin i had two more filters when nifty or bank nifty gives you a gap up or gap down of unexpected gap up or gap down of more more than 1% that day also you don't trade so that way is from 600 trades i was able to reduce it to 225 trades so what happens and without uh, compromising much on profitability it it hard to believe but i have put the excel there so what happens is that during those days you 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 uh, you will be saving huge on the slippage which can be anything any day again right because it is not in your hand you can't calculate it right you will be saving huge on brokerage because you are reducing total number of trades so my limited point and uh, i mean lot of people will disagree including some but the market the good thing is about we 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 disagree that that makes the market right one buyer who is buying at a right pli- price the seller it is the right price to sell right so my humble suggestion is if it is not profitable to you on monday don't trade on monday and there is a rationale to it because the, the decay uh, might not be so fast on monday If you are if you are relying totally on decay, I don't know what is the granular level strategy. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. yeah it's mainly decay. Yeah, I, why I was asking Soham because it's a uh, automated, correct? So I have to take hassles to go and stop. So that's where I was asking suggestion. 
last thing i just want to add i mean if you allow me for everybody information so i whatever soham says i have gone through all those phases so the tip thing even i took one very good tip service and i have checked one year of transaction of that person everything was good still i lost lot of money the reason is that the guy was such a like he is such a huge client when he used to say buy the next second the stock used to go like uh, 20 point 30 point and i could not enter and like i'll give example in one of the call he said okay let's for example let's say tata motor something is going wrong please exit immediately and by the time i starting system it's 20 point down 30 point down. so i couldn't like take those calls and so at the end his profit his excel everything was well but mine nothing like i lost money so that's that's one of the input for everybody thanks thank you yeah okay yeah can so i go on, go on. ask yeah so hum the service for the mean reversion guy uh, the mean reversion trade algo you had subscribed to uh, Is he the same guy who got trolled for his back test strategy for returns? Are we will not get into the names and all no, that. No, That's no, not no, the idea. Not, the idea is okay, okay. Okay. The idea is to share experience so that whenever you see a similar experience, you are more careful. The idea is not to kill anybody. Right. Okay. Okay. No problem. No problem. Okay. Thank What you. is the next question? Or if you are so curious and if you are willing to uh, put money on the line for, to some guy X Y Z and you think that you know that guy also wears the same kind of clothes and you are so confused, you can uh, DM to Soham privately and you can talk and maybe one to one you can discuss that you know what is the way forward if it's the same guy or a different guy because when money is the line on the line, it's good to take feedback but publicly we will not shame anybody. Okay, next question. Next question. Yeah, so I have a question. It's for both of you. Yeah. So, how much focus do you put on a system trading? Like, I have a very limited time in a day, and I am very good with tape reading and screen screen reading. So, but I do have certain rules in terms of risk. Okay. But most of my decisions for entry is based on discretionary level. So. i have not yet back tested the whole thing but a lot of time a lot of effort goes into back testing and i do not want to delegate it to somebody else for back testing so i have learned a small coding skills and i have back tested on a uh, trading view but then i was not comfortable with it because it was not working on two three instruments okay let's say one strategy is not working on two three instruments it's only working on one instrument so do i need to give more uh, preference on back testing rather than discretionary or what how is it like can you guide like with your opinions uh, what do you think on this no firstly i don't agree with this idea that one trading system will work on multiple instrument because every system every instrument has its own level of volatility movement and other things for example what will work on nifty will definitely not work on bank nifty because bank nifty is a more volatile instrument so if on the basis of that you are deciding whether it's a good strategy or a bad strategy then i don't think that's the right way to do it anand you want to add anything oh, no no yeah these like uh, to be very honest i have never done any back testing in life and uh, i i am always in front of the screen and no matter what system i am doing uh, I, for my am i audible i am am i audible yeah, yeah. so let audible. me complete yeah so my my position sizing rules are very strict on any given trade i don't uh, lose uh, beyond a certain point which is even smaller than what soham is saying it is 0.25% or maximum after pyramiding it goes to half a percent and my loss in a day is also fixed in terms of percentage but beyond that entry and exits are at times discretionary at times loosely based on a trend uh, trend following system so i am not in a position to guide you on back testing or you know the other question that you have asked. so soham you you would have to answer it Yeah, no, that's what Hardik. I will give you a small example. Let's say your stop loss is fifty fifty points, right? A fifty point stop loss, fixed 
point stop loss on a nifty system might work but it will definitely not going to work in a bank nifty because bank nifty is a more volatile the price at which it is trading is way higher so in percentage terms 50 point will be too less for bank nifty compared to nifty so same goes for every other instrument as well so i don't think uh, you know uh, you should try to test one strategy on multiple instrument just find one instrument that suits you the suits your psyche the suits your mindset and that works as per your back testing and stick to it okay got it next question please keep yes. asking i will wind up in t- uh, 10 minutes tomorrow we have a working day so quickly uh, you ask in in short whatever the question people have right just unmute yourself and ask the question if i'm audible or shall we call it a day okay then in that case this will be the last question samir you have taken mic just now right ask the question please hello somehow when i say it's is the last question then suddenly i get 10 requests that's always happens yeah yeah go ahead very sweet voice you have uh hello so uh, am i audible yes yes you, you, am i audible you have very sweet voice go ahead i think he cannot hear us that's the problem pro trader you want to con- contribute yeah hi uh, i just wanted to understand uh, the in the intraday candle strategy what is the return that we can look at i mean I, i'm not sure if this has already been answered but uh, just for this is the... your voice is going intraday intraday strategy what can be the ideal return we can expect that was the summary of the question there is nothing called ideal return bro there is nothing called ideal how much risk you are taking that's all that matters based on that you have to decide what percentage uh, return you can expect tell me i mean what is the risk that you are taking and what is the return that you are getting okay so like i i think i already explained so i don't take more than 1 or 1.5% risk on a on a intraday trade and the return that i expect on a monthly basis would not be more than uh, hello uh, i'm not able to hear you but uh, i have a question for soham uh, i could relate to your story i mean uh, i'm myself running a trend following system and then i am uh, doing straddles as well so of late what i have observed is uh, i mean uh, bearing the equity curve thing which you have spoken with respect to trend following it's uh, uh, when i miss a single trade and it, if, if it happens to be a big winner and uh, then uh, i had to go through a long time drawdown okay psychologically it is taking a toll on me even though i am making decent money with trend following i've been trading for past one and a half years successfully but the thing is uh, last quarter i have missed a trade and it used to be a 8 hour trade and that is where i was in the middle of a session and uh, i was presenting something i missed this even though i got an alert i could not do much about it and then i had to go through a time drawdown of 22 days so when i hear from you about these challenges and me being a newbie trader and one and a half years i don't consider it it is so much of a time so these kind of thoughts are coming to me and i am myself confused whether i should continue with this trend following on a longer run or i should myself uh, do only straddles uh, for the wider good i mean uh, for my peace uh, i am not at peace when i am doing trend following because every time see which trend following you make most of the money during outlier days right when you make huge profit so out of 100 days mostly with trend following you will be on drawdown 99 days and only one day you will be on equity high and also it has very low percentage of you know uh, win win ratios but your risk to revert over a period of time pays off well that's how you make money so if you are not comfortable with the amount of risk you are taking and you think you know being uh, you want to come on the selling side more conservative and that's where you'll make your money 
slowly so i mean you can do that right it's all up to you uh, at the end of the day okay we'll take one last question it's going to be 12 o'clock now nobody wants to ask the last question okay in pushkar you have taken the mic just now ask it bro captain sir you acha you gave up the mic ha sir anyway twist ha boliye last question pushkar raj pushkar raj puchiye na samir kumar aapne mic liya tha puchiye okay in that case uh, ek jana aur hai bahut hi acha dp lagaya hua hai हाँ पूछ यस 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 वी आर वेटिंग वी आर डाइंग टू हियर योर क्वेश्चन प्लीज इन सो हम नहीं आई डोंट यूज इट बट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू यू एम आई ऑडिबल आई डोंट कंसिडर आई डोंट कंसिडर विक्स इन माई नो वेन आई एम रनिंग माई सेलिंग सिस्टम but if you want to you can i mean sometimes depending on the week the volatility will change and if your percentage stop loss is too low that might that might change your outcomes so if you want you can use wix as well sir conservative trader sir do you also use wix parameter again i i will plug in my webinar i have done a two hour webinar in which two things i have discussed uh, much in detail one is when there is a gap up or gap down where then whether you should do it or not i have taken data or whatever is available on stock mock and then i have filtered it on the basis of gap up and gap down and i have also filtered it on the basis of wicks and i have also filtered it on the way basis of uh, monday and friday okay so a lot of people will say it is curve fitting so you go to the, through that webinar and i have discussed wicks above 15 and below 15 when wicks is too low or too high you go and see that i i definitely hope that you will get your answer whether you know what kind of wicks you should sell or not sell once you see the data you can decide yourself lot of people don't get affected by what the wicks says okay okay sir. so just go and see it so and i'm sure you'll video. be able to make your own conclusion yes, yes, i watched the video that's why I, i was just asking do you use that in day to day trading that's why Yes, yes. I mean, I mean to be very, very frank with you, after the margin is gone, I'm not uh, doing nine twenty straddle at all. But uh, till the time I I did it, uh, I in a very low wicks environment, I I was not doing it. So, so that is, again, that excludes lot lot many trades, lot many months. And uh, if you go through the data, the webinar that you're saying you have attended, so usko alag se filter kiya, then you will see that all the trades are cancelling out each other and. all the two years is not a very large uh, set of data but uh, you get an idea in low wicks what will happen that you know the, the the premium will also be very less and one spike will kill both sides and so on so i have explained that right yes. okay that again a gentleman who is doing uh, uh, shoulder press there is no name that will be the last question sir the name is aditya sir मार्केट वहां से गिरना स्टार्ट किया ठीक है ट्वेंटी सिक्स ऑफ नवम्बर को आई मेड अ स्ट्रेडल ऑफ जनवरी एंड बैंक निफ्टी पे थर्टी सेवन थाउजेंड का ठीक है अब थर्टी सेवन थाउजेंड से सर स्ट्रेडल जो था वो जाते जाते थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड ब्रीच करते हुए थर्टी फोर थाउजेंड चला गया तो वहां पे एडिशनल कॉल सेल किए ठीक है एडिशनल कॉल सेल किए करते गए करते गए स्टार्टेड मेकिंग प्रॉफिट ऑन सेलिंग कॉल्स ठीक है लेकिन स्ट्रेडल था पूरा ओवरऑल उसमें अच्छा फ्लाई लगाए हुए थे जनवरी एंड का सर था मेरा स्ट्रेडल लेकिन फ्लाई मेरे दिसंबर एंड के थे तो दे वर रियक्टिंग वेरी स्पॉन्टेन्यूसली सब किया मैंने मैनेज लेकिन थर्टी से जैसे ही मार्केट बाउंस बैक किया द सेम डे इन वन आर कैंडल ओनली ठीक है आई स्टार्टेड मेकिंग लॉसेस 
और थर्टी फोर थाउजेंड का मैंने मेरे को याद है थर्टी फोर थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड का कॉल सेल किया था करीबन तीन क्वांटिटी में एडिशनल जस्ट टू प्रोटेक्ट माय ओरिजिनल स्टाडल अब उसके बाद सब मार्केट इवेंचुअली इतने कम एक हफ्ते दस दिन में दो हजार पॉइंट आगे आ गया तो हाउ टू मेक श्योर की वी डोंट गेट यू नो ट्रैप्ड इन सच सॉर्ट ऑफ अनोमलीज सो हम यार ये आप ही दे दो जवाब आई थिंक आई थिंक यू यू आर टू स्लीपी ना सी द थिंग इज यार मैं मैं तो जितने दिन से देख रहा हूँ सच इवेंट्स डू हैपन बट नॉट सो फ्रीक्वेंटली सो यू हैव टू कीप डूइंग वट एवर यूर डूइंग यू हैव टेकन सच अ लॉन्ग exposure and uh, you know the vega effect is very high in long tenor options exactly. and then the, the, the lot of movements did happen and it, it, in in one of the months every year or maybe every 18 months such a such a move when 10 back to back positive candidates get formed it will happen and there is no uh, vaccine for that there is no antidote for that so you have to just <laughs> no, take sir, the loss uh, and honestly speaking sir i started my trading journey from 17th of may okay i started selling options from 17th of may after i did my research uh studied things knew about the option selling in every all sort of things and trust me from 17th of may 14700 was nifty and it never stopped there there was no place for uh, non directional uh, you know nahi to ye ye aapko bata do positional straddles ke liye strangle ke liye ya kisi bhi positional strategy ke liye last ka 7 8 months was horrible horrible like horrible ha तो वो वो सब के लिए आई एम सीइंग यू नो बुक ऑफ ऑफ सम द बेस्ट ट्रेडर्स आल्सो इट इट फॉर पोजीशन वाज हॉरिबल सो यू आर नॉट अलोन या नहीं सर अभी इसलिए मैं अभी इसलिए आई हैव अ बिट एज एन मतलब पोजिशनली आई बिकम बेरिश ठीक है बिकॉज मार्केट हैज हिट अगेन Nifty is uh, about to reach its all-time high. I've, I've, uh, uh, you know, shorted ten uh, quantities of Nifty, and just to uh, and uh, obviously I've hedged it. With... I think we lost him. So I would just want to thank uh, Soham. Uh, a very big, big thanks. He spoke straight from the heart, and I'm sure a lot of you uh, would learn the first fact itself that he publicly acknowledged. You know. Uh, the losses he incurred uh, incurred initially which i fondly call tuition fees he paid to the market in various forms and then he got up he uh, you know uh, uh, pull up pulled up his socks and became profitable and for two years he's p- profitable tried various kind of strategies learned algo trading and so on so the journey itself is the learning i guess so i want to thank him like uh, profusely for sharing all of it with us and sparing like 3 hours with us thank you so much thank you anand thanks everyone thanks everyone for joining the space thank you bye have bye. a good good, good night, night and have a good trading day tomorrow